Welcome to the Coach's Box. We have another wonderful Wednesday evening of banter and whatnot. We'll let you know what that whatnot is in a little while here. But um, Ray Halbrook along here for the ride here from Livestream STL. Thanks so much for being with us here for the Coach's Box. And uh, we're uh, awaiting one of the coaches here real quick. And uh, guys, um, I'm going to roll right straight in here. Thanks for being with us again. And yeah, take it away, guys. What's up, Ray? Hey, Ray. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. great. Ray. Not, not great. The Blues not are great. I have you know. 4-1. It is what? 4-1 to one now? 4-1? Yeah, yeah but uh, it's, wow. it's an avalanche. It, it is wow. an avalanche. Wow. Oh. <coughs> da, da, da. Oh, Sorry, we're talking about hockey. When it rains, it avalanches. A I don't bit. know. Something hockey. like that. Eh, hockey. Yeah. Listen. I, we 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 can <laughs> we can carry here. this over <laughs> right on into the show oh. from our conversation oh. before the show. I'm started. sorry, I'm faster than you. Hold on, no, we need to be socialist about it and say nope. You can't get ahead of these guys. No, it's not how it works. This is how it works. <laughs> oh, you, you probably my. like soccer too, don't I you? I don't like soccer. It seems like you do. No. it's not the same game. One's it's, played on ice and actually what? played by men. Okay, and the other one. You flop and okay. you fall, and there ain't a line that. Oh, you're ahead of the. There pl- is. There's it's a box. Oh, there's man. a box. No. You have opened up Pandora's box with that comment. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, hope don't we need to compare hockey to soccer. <laughs> Coach Aaron Portell is watching tonight. <laughs> I know Coach Halley's probably watching. I don't care. Oh no, my! I don't, you, you need wow. to get with the program. I, oh wow! It, it, I don't know. I don't, How do you not like hockey? I told you. I don't like the, the rules. I have been. I told you off air. I've I been know. To a I was saying you've been to a game and you still don't like it. No. Uh, no. Why? It's I told deep. you, I don't like the rules. It's getting deep in it here. It doesn't make any sense not to like the rules. Uh, once again, you, you okay. can't do what you want to do. But is it okay if a kid just Just like I don't like the NBA no. and that you can't play zone, you can't press, you can't run okay, a jump well, deep, we're, but we're, you can't do the – it's the same thing. Quit no. quit stymieing or stifling. No, if I want to go stand by the net all game, then I ought to be able to do it. You, so you oh, be okay with someone running off – off the bench mm-hmm. and go running down the court. And you just throw them the ball and they shoot it. it t- we're talking two different. No, sports. we're not because that's how hockey works. They can come in. There's no. There's, there's no, no stoppage. There's of no play. buzzer in hockey. There's that no stops stoppage play. of play where they come in. They come in while the play is going on. If they want to in hockey, sure, they ought to be able. That's to. That's the stupidest thing. Why? You know, ever, Why? Because there's no dead. Bu- it's there's no dead time. Okay. It doesn't give the defense any time. It's like okay, let's. That's just the point. Take off run. It's called just, strategy. Just skate down it's there. It's called strategy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. Here, here. I'm gonna pass it to you. No, you oh wait, can't. no, no. Pass it back. Hold on. I'm gonna pass it to you. <laughs> hold on. I'm hey, gonna pass Jack, it back. Jackie Moon. Yeah. Just yeah. chill. Chill yeah. for a second. Yeah. Watch yourself, Chris. Watch yourself. That's <laughs> what Kevin just said. <laughs> okay. Watch he'll, yourself. He'll, he'll mess with my wife. I Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Two minutes. You got to stop for two minutes. My Wi-Fi. Time out. Listen, you can't, you can't get, get Blair involved in this because he put somebody halfway down the court <laughs> a couple of times and threw him the ball. Hey, did it work? It did work. Exactly. It did work. Exactly. It did work. Prove my point. Thank you. No. Oh, Went from winning you, four games a year to winning 18, exactly. 19. Hey, uh, hold on. But he likes back hockey. Back to back. He, likes no, hockey. he can like hockey. I'm not, I'm not saying you can't like hockey. I'm saying I don't, and I don't like the rules. It's okay. I mean, you got time. Jesus saves. It's cool. <laughs> you, Cubs fans, anybody no. who likes the Jayhawks. Oh, the Jayhawks. oh wow. If you ever rooted for the Red Sox and you think no. 2004 I mean, World Series no. happened, I mean, all those people can find Jesus. No. It's cool. Have you ever seen the 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 – cartoon figure where it says that this touchdown's for you Jesus and that's a picture of Jesus watching hockey instead no. I mean come on uh-huh. Jesus is, <laughs> Jesus is in hockey well, I'm just saying just uh, all I know is. is is you should be uh, watching know. hockey a little bit well, not tonight cuz I you know, say it I, although after the performance today by the Cardinals, I mean, maybe. Uh, but I don't wanna, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be that Fairweather fan that's going to say, oh, hey, now I'm on the bandwagon. Well, you know. I am not. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. Okay, so last night okay. against Strasburg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, they, they roughed him up. And the uh, offense, just a tad. The offense kind of took off. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. what were we saying on the group message? I, I said, boy, I hope they save some of these for the rest of the week. Nope. 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 Didn't what, I mean, what what they do today? Not a – how much offense did they wager? Not a zero. I don't know. Zero. They wagered zero. all last night. <laughs> Didn't do too well at the table. It, it With was, who? Who was the pitcher? Can you even name the pitcher? Yes, Can you even is. name? No, today's pitcher. Can you name Ron the pitcher? Wainwright. Before? Adam. No, no, no. Can you even name the pitcher before Strasburg? 
No, oh. you can't because yeah, Scherzer some, didn't pitch and Corbin didn't pitch. It was some goofy. Exactly. Some exactly. No they, they never do any well against Who no pitched, name. Who pitched? Why is that? I don't know why is that. Oh, Who bad scouting isn't very good. Uh, I guess. Who pitched for the Cardinals yesterday? Yes, Flaherty. 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 And then the day before that was the man, mm. the one that – you said was going to win 18, 19 games this year? That was who Oh, is this guy? Who? Who? Be Cardinals? careful. Cardinals? No, I never said that. <laughs> Somebody said Somebody. It Jarvis sale. said it. My, he's not here. Hey, that's two weeks in a row. Are, we, are you ready to put him on assignment? That's we two weeks in a row. Why are you looking at me? Because you run the show. Well, maybe. You, you carry the show. Should we put so you know what? Jarvis you know what? on assignment? A stat? Going along put on the pole. Carlos <laughs> Martinez has not won a game as a starter. Since 2018. Wow. He also been used mostly as a reliever, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I didn't say <laughs> that. I'm just saying he was not a sp- Yeah. And I guarantee you Matt Carpenter is going to get some kind of oh. long-term contract because he, <laughs> he hit two hits yesterday. So. Uh, In a home run? No, he got one hit, and the other one was an error. error. Well, yeah, we, we had that we discussion, too. <laughs> I know. Does well. he get on base? <laughs> Does he get on base? <laughs> is it an yes. error? Uh, is it, it in there? It was. He reached oh, out in there. Oh, yeah. It was we'll, smoked right in his we'll face, see. but he should have caught it. We'll see. <coughs> no, That'll it, probably it be changed <laughs> tomorrow. No. Help him out. No. Help him out. It's, it's, Walt it's, till it's, not like, it's not like the NBA. They don't just change the rules. As they Wall say. it out. I, I mean, it's – I don't know. I was happy he hit a home run, but he is actually hitting the ball. He he's always just, hit the ball. He always hit the ball. He's, hitting it, to, he's the hitting it to people who have gloves. He, well, why? And they're, because they're not in the why? stands. Because, yeah, because they put the shift on, and he never adjusted. It's been year three of the shift, and he has yet to adjust. Well, he, got, he laid down the bunt. Well, okay, great. It took him three years for that to happen. I agree. Finally decided it. A little, uh, this, hey, now, little slow. Smarten up. <clears throat> Excuse me, my friend's a little slow here. <laughs> Tell us uh, that way. I, uh, I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. Mm-hmm. And as much as, I mean, I don't know how many times we've pissed and moaned about him, it's – it's awful. I, it I can't. I can't stand it. Here's the thing. All right. Here, here's part of my take with this whole cardinal philosophy. You fire. You fire a guy from his hitting position as a hitting coach who's been with the with the program for a while. Older head, a lot of a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience, all of that. Because you just got to get the new new and improved best thing, right? That's right. Okay, great. And then what happens? We come to find out the organization he was a part of. Cheated to win. Hmm. And so now it's year two, if not year three, in his system. And we have three guys maybe that's hitting over 300. Yes. Should we buy trash cans? At this point, I don't care. The ballpark. I don't care at this point. Yes. No, hey, sure. we can get signs. What we ought to do, it's no rule against the fans cheating. Why can't the fans get some signs out and say, There's not enough of them out there. <laughs> exactly. There's not enough of them out there. Thanks, Sam Page. <laughs> Thanks, Sam full Page. capacity. Oh, how, how come that's never happened? There. How come that has never happened ever in the history of the game? I don't know. The fans cheating. Only, only helping, out, helping out their play, their team. Their, uh, team. I don't see a problem with stealing signs. I, I, I don't see either. a problem with someone beating on a trash can because they're using video <laughs> technology to, right. to cheat. Right. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. I, Throw it out there. But look, it, it, the Cardinals are so unbalanced right now. Yeah. Would be, uh, Edmund, Edmund's yeah. re- doing Bill really Tommy. great. Yeah. Sure. I mean, he's even had to play a different position than what he probably thought he was going to have mm, to. Yeah. It's like he hadn't played this since Little League, but here you go. Have a glove. <laughs> Take it um, away. And so he, I mean, out, he's an average outfielder, ish. Mm-hmm. So he's doing well. He, Goldschmidt's hitting two. Mm-hmm. Arenado's three. Mm-hmm. And like you and, and Yadi, I had talked, Yadi. it's like Yadi's your Yadi's. cleanup hitter on this team. That that says a lot. That says all you need. All all you need to say. I agree. A thirty-eight year old cleanup hitter who doesn't hit for power. Mm-hmm. And nobody else down the lineup is. They, they're consistently inconsistent. Now, mm-hmm. you're going to get that with Carlson because he's a rookie. Been like that for a couple years now. Mm-hmm. Well, we go out and get Arenado, and it's just like, okay, we're done. Consistency. It, it, well, because I go back to I, – I don't think – go ahead. Money go ahead. ball. Money, no, I, well, it's just no, it's money in a, in a wallet oh, is what it that. is. I think it just goes back to, well, hey, you know what? The mob's at the gate. We need to do something. Yeah. Okay, let's appease them. Let's. Okay, there you go. There's your – and it's not enough. It's it's not enough. If you want to be competitive, it's not, it just it isn't enough. No, no, it's not. Well, I 
I, I, I honestly believe, I'll tell you, I think we have plenty of pitching to go around. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I still feel like we don't consistently have good hitting, and it, it's so sporadic. Mm-hmm. And then when, when we hit well, we all hit well together. But mm-hmm. then it goes in the flows where mm-hmm. nobody hits for mm-hmm. two or three games. And that's approach. I mean, I, okay, I get it, and we can maybe de- debate or talk about professionals and coaching and how much coaching is actually involved at the professional level for different, different sports. Right. But you, you, there has to be a level of you're not hitting. You need to make adjustments. Here's the things you need to do and, and go do it. Yes. And if you're not going to go do it, then we're either going to trade you, wave you, uh, put you out on the street, whatever. I like, agree. I mean, you're, going, you're not going to play for our, our program. If you're not going to follow our philosophy. I've seen a lot of big swings. I, and yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nobody hits anything. No. I mean, they're hitting jack shit, okay? I, Let's just be real here. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, it's annoying to watch because we're setting records and strikeouts. So uh, my yeah. question is. And it's awful. When Mark McGuire left, mm-hmm. <laughs> we haven't had anything happen since. Albert Pujols. Uh, Albert Pujols. <laughs> speaking of, but speaking of, hold let, on, time let's, let's, okay, let's ahead, be so honest let about our Albert Pujols. Let's oh, be honest yes, about yes, where did he it. get that from? From McGuire. Okay. Yeah. So he, he, but that yeah. was the only one. Right. And we haven't had anybody else. Me McGuire is a hitting coach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very well. We did so. have him. Very much. Didn't so. we win when he was yes. our hitting coach? Yeah, we yeah. sure did. Yeah, yeah. We sure did. Mm-hmm. A lot better than we are now. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you, I think the biggest frustration is is watching these guys not make contact mm-hmm. with the ball. Like mm-hmm. way too many strikeouts. I mean, mm-hmm. it's guessing. It's like yeah. Why, yeah. What? What? I know. I mean, f- look for the fastball. Mm-hmm. Freaking hit the fastball. Mm-hmm. I mean, what else do you ask for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're pros. Well, well, 143, we have to, we have 192, to, yeah. point .91, He's 128. These, that's your, that was your starters. Oh, wow. Yeah. Solid. But, but here's the deal. They've got to they gotta run the pitcher's pitch count up. That's the, that's the name of the game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Sure. Yeah, I guess. Well, not, eh, not anymore because they're – that's another thing. They're not going. They're not going to go through for the third time through the order because somehow, some way, somebody somewhere said now we have to bring in guys in the fifth inning, sixth inning, and okay, great. I don't. Then if that's the case, if that's what you're re- really going to do, then here's an idea: save yourself some money. Don't pay twenty, twenty, twenty-five, thirty million for starters. Get an entire pitching staff of nothing but relievers. Save yourself instead of paying them. You know, now pay them anywhere from two to eight million or whatever, two to ten million. Get an entire staff of relievers because they're only going to go two, three innings anyway. And then now go load up on some bats and get a whole bunch of home runs, RBIs, etc. On base. chicks dig the long ball. Yeah, yeah. we can't I mean, hit the long ball. Tony very well. Teague says Yasiel Puig's their answer. Did he assault somebody? I don't know. We yeah, Puig. I don't know. I Might have been somewhat of an assault. Mm. I don't think it was. Allegations? Know. Yeah, maybe. Like a lot of that going Deshaun on. Deshaun Watson allegations? Maybe. <laughs> Ooh. Topic so. for another day. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. That's an interesting thing. Ooh. But. Ooh. I, I, ah. I don't do this. Ah. <laughs> oh, Miller loves it. I love it. So. Chris. It's. I don't know. It's I just it's, 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 it's extremely frustrating. To I love a Cards fan. Well, I love I love the relief. Relieved. I love the relief pitchers. Yeah, I, agree. I like this. If you can get to, if you can get to the sixth inning with a lead, I feel a hundred percent confident that you you've got a six, seven, eight, and nine inning guy that you can roll out and you're going to win a ball game. I do agree. Okay, but if you don't have a lead and if you're not within a run. I don't, it's it's almost like I guess this is probably what Bob Gibson felt like back in '68. Yeah. Except he was playing and we get to watch on TV. Could you imagine that? I mean. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. It's frustrating. And 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 you, they would never say it, but you know, at some point, it's got to be frustrating for the pitchers as well. I'm sure oh, they in, are. In the, sure they in are. the locker room. Sure they are. Well, I mean, you know, you're out there pitching your butt off, mm-hmm. and it's like mm-hmm. nobody. You can't get you can't get any run support. No, well, I mean, and, it's and about hard hit balls. That's that's great, but you're, again, you're hitting them to people who have gloves on. Mm-hmm. Here, here's help. what I said: These are pro athletes. Mm-hmm. So, you you hit the ball at a pro athlete, ninety nine percent of the time they're going to freaking make mm-hmm. the play. Mm-hmm. It's routine, and that's that's the thing is is we are, we are, 
we're not gap hitters. We're not double hitters. We're not line drive hitters. I mean, we are literally ground ball, pop fly, routine pop flies. Well, and that's all I see. Can oh, of corn. Can of corn. Yes, I heard that saying a couple times. <laughs> well, but I think it goes back to the construction of our, our lineup or of our roster. Look at Cincinnati. Aren't they not? Aren't they knocking the cover off of the ball? They are. Okay, the Brewers. Look at their lineup. But okay. you look at look. But you look at their lineup, and you think about who's on that in that lineup. But you also think about that team is just playing baseball. Mm-hmm. They're not. They're. I mean, they're. You you see their approach at the plate. Their mm-hmm. approach at the plate is fastball, 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 mm-hmm. and that's what they're looking to hit. Mm-hmm. They're looking to hit fastballs, mm-hmm. and and I think that's the thing that we're getting away from is we're trying to swing and hit for. Mm-hmm. The, for the fences all the time. Maybe you should watch. I mean, they're so big, long swings. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's just no, there's no drive. Keep your hands through the middle. Yeah. I mean, just a common thing that you teach kids mm-hmm. in, in the game of baseball. It's like, what in the world? I, yeah, it, it's frustrating to see. But here's the other thing: if you're going to adapt to to that style of play, and if you are going to say launch angle, if you're going to say let's try and hit as many home runs as we can, huh. and we're not going to care about the strikeout, then you have to get those type of players. Well, you sure. have to get the guy that's 250, that's 6'2", 6'3", 250, 225, a solid muscle, that can hit the ball out of the park. Oh, yeah. We don't have that roster. You look at Cincinnati, you look at, you look at Mil- Milwaukee, you look at those guys, those guys look like, the three, four, five, six hitters looks like they could also be middle linebackers in the NFL. NFL. Yep, yep. Where, where, where is the outside of Arenado and Goldschmidt? Where is the threat if you're a pitcher? Go ahead and throw Yadi in right now, but he's but he doesn't have anything right now. Well, he he's hit he's enough that you're worried he's going to get a hit. But outside of hey, who who's gonna who's gonna take me deep every single chance? Like I can't mess up. I cannot mess up this at bat. Don't have anybody like that. Okay, then that's that's not on the players. That's on the pl- the mm-hmm. construction of the roster. I need Roger. Need Roger Dorn. <laughs> Roger. Well, you yeah. see, at two seventy five. <laughs> Come on, Dorn. This guy pitched you inside, didn't he? <laughs> hey, at this point, we'll take that. Get on base. Oh, I, I mean, there are a couple times where some of those guys got pitched inside and they're turned away. I'm like, where it? You haven't been on base since last year. <laughs> we were telling, including some. spring training. Hey. We were telling our twelve years old, twelve year olds last act that, wear it. I mean, one of my twelve year olds said, "Wear it." We all know one of his teammates. Wear it. So you got Just wear it. Out there with all those <laughs> got the Barry and Bonds. Gear got the Barry Bonds and gear. You got the big wide stance. Your eight nine hole hitters <laughs> exactly, coming up, and it's exactly. like, oh no, I got hit. <laughs> Crowd to play. Find uh, a way to get on. Hey. Find a way. Listen, if I was. If I was a high school baseball player, it doesn't matter. I would be all over the plate, mm-hmm. throw it inside, buddy. I hate. I could tell you. I could tell you right now, as a pitcher, that was that was psychologically tough oh, to deal with. Absolutely, because you thought one, you're like I, trying to get this guy out. You can't throw inside, and if you do, you know he's going to wear it. So you're just going to have to serve up something to him or try and break something off that he's going to maybe roll over on. Those are the but, little things that you teach. At the youth le- mm-hmm. level, is to try to create. That's the problem here, anyway. Is just simple. What, it's it's this concept of launch angle and all this other oh, BS. Yeah. That well, doesn't matter. I'm also it's going simple. to say this, and maybe maybe when he gets into the pros, maybe he shows us something. But I think it goes back to let's go ahead and draft kids out of high school, and then instead of college players. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, what do the Cardinals? always generally have really good – what position do the Cardinals always generally, generally draft well? Pitchers. Okay, pitchers, right? What type of pitchers are they drafting? College pitchers, college, mm-hmm. college juniors, college seniors. Hmm. Hmm. I yes. don't know. I, I'm just – I don't know. I just, I just long for the day mm. where guys could hit 300 again. Uh, yeah. And listen, the shift has mm. a lot to do with things, but it doesn't have that much to do with I that. just no. want to see – Small ball, base hits. It's Find a happen. way to get on. Find it's a way exciting. to make things happen. It is exciting. I think it's exciting. It is exciting. But it goes against the analytics. Well, I'm not going to hit 25 what? home runs. So What's his war? No, nobody wants to watch. <laughs> okay. You, what was it? I mean, back in the day, and they talk about it now. Back in the day, they would say, what do you need to do to win? 
and I can't remember what it was. Ice. Get it? No, but they. It was. It was a. Uh, it was old time manager, and he took his foot and drew the number four and a half in the dirt. Mm-hmm. And he said, "What? What in the world is this?" He said, "If we can score more than this, we're going to have a chance of winning every ball game. At least we're going to be in every ball game." Yep. I agree. And that's it. Yep. That's it. You score runs. You score runs. Yeah, you want to get on base, but you want to score runs. So you, you play to win the game. You play to win the game. You play to win <laughs> the Just game. Just saying, I heard that once. Yeah. We got some uh, shout outs here. Dave Crump, how you doing? Hey. Josh School, how you doing? Right. This is hey boys. Hey, and I, I said, heard from Crump I in a while. Said, oh. Hey boys. There you go. There you go, coach. Yeah. There's your hey, shout give out. Hey, sh- give the shout out. Let's yeah, do it right now. Right now. Shout out. Right now. Shout out. Right now. Shout out. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Say it loud. <laughs> so <laughs> shout it. You know, I'm uh, I'm at a uh, track meet uh, <laughs> yeah, last week. Uh, Apparently, down. he carries the show because <laughs> he's the one that's all the shout outs. Well, and yeah. I'll tell you, plugs. this this young man. Um, I'm down at the track meet and, and I'm talking to another coach, and this young man just comes up and stands next to us. While we're having a conversation, a coach, another coach and I, and he's just sitting there very politely waiting for us to finish our conversation. <laughs> and as soon as we finish our conversation, he comes up and shakes my hand. And he says, hey, coach, how are you? And I said, good, buddy, how are you? He said, hey, I just want to tell you that I watch your coach's box show every <laughs> single week. And he said, I absolutely love it. He said, but the one thing about it is, you're my favorite one. Oh, oh he threw that last uh, one in. I don't think he said that. I, don't think he said that I, at I guarantee all. you, if he's watching, which he says he watches every week, and uh, uh, that is Griffin Porter from DeSoto. Hey, buddy. So, Griffin <laughs> Porter, we appreciate you watching every week. And if you are watching, comment on the Facebook yeah, page. Let's find out if this is actually the truth here. And, and uh, he will definitely agree with me when he when he watches this. How I much told money him did you give him? I didn't give him anything. <laughs> yeah, right. sure, right. I didn't give him anything. Okay. Uh, but uh, it is, it's awesome to see that, you know, such a, a young kid is, mm-hmm. is watching us, and that tells us the importance of our show and just kind of getting out there and letting kids – be uh, feel like they are part of stuff and, and talking mm-hmm. about some of the stuff yeah. that we talk about where kids are educated about yeah. you know mm-hmm. I've, um, I've got a, a, a discovery hmm. in the last week week and a half I had a good job do you want to know <laughs> do you want to know how to get the kids involved with this no Ray we don't talk about vans and candy <laughs> I'm just playing <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, oh hello. The, we're yeah. stay fair. Stay fair. <laughs> stay fair. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah, I'm sorry, Ray. Hey, and you set them up. <laughs> we knocked. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> that was solid. <laughs> You gotta give credit where credit's due, man. That was great. They've been on a roll all night long, oh. and I have been oh. the banter. To oh. talk about all oh. day long oh. since six o'clock. One's the longest number. <laughs> six o'clock. One. No. Um, seven. No. Seven o'clock. Okay, there get it right. Go. Seven o'clock. <laughs> Instagram. Yeah. We Instagram. have to get an Instagram account. Yeah. Yeah. We got a Twitter one. Get it. Riley don't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> da da da. No, he was trying to use Facebook. <laughs> I was trying. I wasn't even going to get to use that. <laughs> I can't even know how to go live. How do you do this? You can't use the, no. the book face. And, and I don't know what the book face. What does that even mean? I tell you, so saying flip phones no. is the way to go. <laughs> Seriously, Instagram is the way to go. That's where the kids are. And what? and that's I'm not joking. We My Instagram went up 400% in one week. You know how you, you can make it go up even more? You put your dog on there, <laughs> and everybody follows pictures of dogs. I get it. Oh, my God. I heard that the other day. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I got one thing to say I had another that. one. I had another one. I had another one, but I wasn't I just, going to. One. And speaking of that as well, Ray, that young kids are watching our show, we had a, a young lady here while we were eating yeah. dinner. Um, yeah, right. She was sitting over here with her mother and her sister, and uh, they were sitting there. She's like, Man, I watch you guys' show every single week. She says, I love it. And Ray said something about, you want our autograph? And her eyes lit up like it was like <laughs> awesome now, you know, bright lights. But, I uh, was playing, but, but she, yeah, she's But funny. It's still, it was, it was funny, funny, though, that yeah. she, when he said that, her eyes lit up like, <laughs> wow. Like, people think that we probably watch this show like we're Shoot. somebody famous or something. Right. But, uh, I don't, I don't uh, feel like but, that. But, you know, it, no. it, it's, it's awesome, though, to see, you know, the, the younger community – being involved in, in mm-hmm. with our show because I mm-hmm. think that's a that's a f- an important thing, especially a lot of the topics that we talk about mm-hmm. are in, in mm-hmm. talking about a little bit of stuff that maybe entices them to 
to listen and, and to take some advice. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know that our advice is always good, but uh, was, but um, well, well, at least yeah. we can. What are you trying to say? We <laughs> can <laughs> tell <laughs> you one thing. We can. We, we'll call it like we see it. That's yeah. all about yeah. as good as it That's gets. Right. But yeah. uh, you know, it, uh, so I just want to give a, a, another big shout out to to Griffin Porter, and uh, we appreciate you watching yeah. every week. And uh, hey, if you're ever out and about in Herculaneum on a night we have a show, stop in. Yes. We'll put you on air. Definitely. Uh, I mean, and, and Riley will buy you ice cream. I will. Absolutely, I will. I will buy or one you of those an dessert burrito I things. That was, that was, that was awesome, man. That that Rain is hollow leg reading. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Are you done yet? No. <laughs> I've, only, I've only just I've begun. Only just begun. <laughs> I'm going to call. <laughs> yeah, he, I walk I in the building tonight. Just begun? You're calling me a cancer patient. And right. I they let you. <laughs> oh, I can't like, believe they the let heck? us cancer well, patients in the building. We wanted like, to go to, to week 60, but I guess that's not happening. You tell me all these kids are watching the show. Now we got to put like some kind of rating. <laughs> exactly. <or something>. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You, should be, uh, you should be watching with parents. <laughs> right. <laughs> Colin Riendo, shout out to Colin. He's watching right now. And, uh, you know, <laughs> he's just, just signed. He just signed with Jeffco, by the way. Yes, he did. Congratulations, Colin. And I've got I got a little story. So we have had some great baseball, okay? Oh, my God. It's a couple of days ago, no hitter. Yes. Really? No hitter, but still gave up a run. That was kind of a weird deal how that happened. Hit by pitch, and the, the uh, runner scored on an error, but still Bummer. no hitter. Mm-hmm. And one of the coolest things ever happened, um, it was um, Mrs. Moore, I believe, that uh, posted this. The, um, the, the pitcher that pitched, his name was Gavin Kinworthy. He ended up pitching the no hitter, mm-hmm. and he was pitching against a freshman. Okay, he only that freshman only gave up three runs in the no hitter. Okay, mm-hmm. after the game. Okay, after the game, and it was, I believe, the Moore kid. It was, it was Mrs. Moore's son. Mm-hmm. They're they're like after the game, arms around each other, just kind of talking about you know, hey, and he's and and the, the senior who mm-hmm. pitched the no hitter is like absolutely one hundred percent like. Dude, you, mm-hmm. you pitched a great game. You've got a long, you know, mm-hmm. you, you're going to go far, you know, mm-hmm. type deal. Just right. encouraging. And, I mean, you want to talk about uplifting a kid that, you know, mm-hmm. really did pitch a great game. Both both, both game, or, you know, both pitchers pitched great. And, and I'll just tell you, um, she posted that, and I said, can I please repost? Because I said, that is why we cover what we cover. Mm-hmm. You don't get that stuff on ESPN. You mm-hmm. might get it once in a, once in a month in right. a blue moon or a couple mm-hmm. months. This, we have the ability to do this every week. So, I mean, you know, last night we were over at GCS Ballpark. What a game. So, one heck of a game. Ten innings. St. Pius uh, uh, is uh, victorious over Crystal City. But I'll tell you, Crystal City, d- no back and down. No, nope. you know? tooth and, and nail. They, they, and started nail. Off, they started off first pitch home run. Yeah. Funny thing about that was he didn't touch the plate on the home run. They appealed, got the out, but the run still counted. <laughs> it took us all game to figure that out, that the, that the run still counted. So it's three to two, bottom of the sixth, and I'm I'm <laughs> texting Eddie Marino saying, "Hey, can can so and so come on up for player of the game?" He goes, "What are you freaking kidding me? It's tied three to three, and I didn't know that rule. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of like, so what's the rule on that? How did that go? You know, blah blah blah. So he he said, "Well, the run still counts, but the out still counts." And I was <laughs> like, "That's the weirdest rule I've ever seen." On you know, because usually you, you, you either t- you either count the home run or you yeah. count the out, one or the other. Yeah. You know, but, um, but yeah, I mean, great games. And, and yeah. um, we'll make an announcement. We're we're 90 percent that we are going to be out at Bush Stadium this this time next week. Hey. And awesome. uh, St. Pius the 10th is taking on Roxana. Uh, we're 90 percent in. I found That's out in Illinois, correct? Yeah, yes. Roxanna, Illinois, just across the river. Roxanna. I mean, it, it would be awesome if we could figure out how to get the coaches box on at like four o'clock and then do that be, game be, afterwards. You know. Great if we can get uh, Mike Shannon to be on the coaches box. <laughs> hey, but, we but are. the funny you, thing uh, about it is, we could be in Mike Shannon's booth, which he'll be sitting what on his little. Uh, the, yeah. the exercise ball that he sits on. Right? He sits on an exercise ball. Really? Well, how about that? I never While he's that. drinking water. He does drink a lot of water. <laughs> I yeah, never he has to. Yeah. After 50 years, I'd drink a lot of water, too. <laughs> right. Pretty sure it's just still flowing through. <laughs> yeah. 
We're not talking about water. Uh, <laughs> sure we just are. Just saying. Sure. Uh, yeah. That's a family it, show now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, now that Chris realizes that dun, kids dun, watch dun. the show. That's their fault. Uh, they watch a lot <laughs> worse. Uh, right? oh, I'm uh, not a role model. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Sir Charles. That's you're why welcome. I'm not sure why Scott the cop it says that you're his hero. I'm not sure about all that either. Scott knows, man. <laughs> Scott man. knows. Man. We're, doing, we're doing Scott the Cop Classic number what's, two. What's hey, up? I think that. You talk to, to him today about day. that. <laughs> That'd be fun. I'll stay at one end. I'll play defense. <laughs> Trust me, it's, it's sometimes <laughs> like that. Yeah. Ben Elix watching. How you doing, Ben? Yeah, we have a Tim Fowler, of, how are you? A bunch of people just, watching yeah, now. Here Chris going, Miller's watching. How are you watching? All right, you're going through everybody. I'm working here, okay? Jim Powers? Yeah, see? Ray's like, we don't have any topics. Commercial. We don't have any topics right now. I just got to, who's here on the show? Uh, who's watching? Uh, yeah, well, it is It is commercial time. Is it? Okay. Yep. It Gosh, Art, what are you doing over there? Paying pay the bills. I pay the bills, Ray. Pay the bills. Pay the bills. Whatever. Gosh. All right, we're going to pay the bills here. We will be back. We'll be right back. You're we're watching back. the Coach's Box. We'll be right back. You know, I, I do this for the love of the kids. I do it for the love of the coaches and the ADs because there's not enough high school coverage in the St. Louis area. Um, th there's just not. Yeah. Once again, I get to keep my relationships with, you know, guys like you and, and a lot of the other great coaches and administrators and, and former athletes. And that's one of the cool things that we're going to do here, too, is, you know, I've been fortunate covering some great, you know, great coaches and great kids. But, you know, the, the caravan is... You know, we, I wasn't letting it die. And sure enough, we're here now, and, and you know, the reboot is in full effect. Tell us we can't, and we'll prove you wrong. Knock us down, and we'll get right back up. Call us risk takers, misfits, bad boys. But we know what we want, and it feels like American muscle, looks like advanced engineering, and smells like fresh cut grass. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. Jefferson College has affordable degree options for students of all ages. Plus, register before December 11th, and you could win a $250 book scholarship or other great prizes. Jefferson College provides safe on-site and online options and many exciting career pathways like humanities, business, social science, and public service, math, physics, and technology, and science and health. Students who know, go Jeffco. Enroll now at jeffco.edu. Hi, I'm Lawrence Krodinger with Home by SMCI. Whether it's residential or commercial, we have the right products for you. Global Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, even help dust in your house. They install easily, less than 45 minutes, and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. If you're interested in any of the products that we do offer, give us a call at 636-337-4444 or send us an email at service at homebysmci.com. What you guys do for Jefferson County sports, it doesn't go unnoticed by the coaches I in all that. sports. Yeah, all I sports. That. You know, I, I have a lot of friends that are ba head, you know, basketball coaches, and and uh, I've been, you know, of course, around Jefferson County all my life and followed all kinds of sports even before I got into the coaching. So what you guys do to help promote it with the kids is unbelievable. And we, we appreciate you guys. Yeah. For for you guys to take your time and what you do um, is awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, well, we try, we work hard, and, uh, you know, we, we think they, they deserve it. You know, the kids deserve to be able to be seen. And, and if we can turn out, um, you know, kids in the community to better them, get them in college, and uh, make them a better citizen, that's, that's, the, that's the key. Hey, Ray Halbrook here with Livestream STL. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. Do us a huge favor. Check out our brand new website, 
livestreamstl.tkdsports.com. There you'll see plenty of information about your schools, uh, articles about different games and whatnot, and we appreciate you checking that out. Do us a huge favor also. We'd really like for you to mention Livestream STL to your athletic directors and superintendents. Tell them you want us in there to uh, bring high value to your school. We'd appreciate that. And thanks again for watching tonight's broadcast. And we are here back for round number two as the boys get their headsets on go through a little bit of what we got going on the rest of this week here we have a plethora of things going on and it looks a little bit like this let me see if i can pull these uh particular dates up here there we go tomorrow we'll be over at st pius 10th high school st vincent comes to town 4 15 will be the pregame friday night we have friday night blitz football friday night that is 7 o'clock. It will be a 6.45 uh, pregame. DeBerg takes on Bayless. Jim Powers and Lee Richardson will have the call. I'll be over there pushing the buttons. Next week it looks a little bit like this. And this is right now pending, pending a, a double check here. But uh, uh, Oak Bridge comes to um, Grandview 4.15 for girls softball on Monday. Tuesday we have Herculaneum and Jefferson at 415. Wednesday, again, I could we could be out at Bush Stadium, live from Bush Stadium, St. Pius Lancers. They're going to be taking on the Roxana Shells. That's their that's their uh, mascot there. We'll uh, keep people abreast upon that, and then also um, the tw- the 23rd or 22nd. I'm sorry, 22nd. I got to get this right. I'm, I'm a little bit off here. Um, 22nd looks a little bit like this. High School Caravan, our episode two with uh, Jim Powers. And then Friday the 23rd at 4.15, Perryville at Windsor. That's what we've got going on the next couple of weeks. And we're opening up the lines here. And um, <laughs> well, thank you. everybody's uh, having, no, no, having uh, what is going on here with just, you guys. Just Nothing. listen to you do your thing, Ray. Do you do you, man. It's all good. <laughs> what? Ray is Don't look at me. I ain't the one who's been saying it. McVay's over here. <laughs> I haven't said anything. Oh, you are so full of it. Don't you? He hadn't said, said a word. Yeah. Hey. What? Dan's <laughs> puppets. Dan's puppets. <laughs> What's we're just giving you – listen, Ray, don't worry about it. It's okay, man. It's hold right. on, hold on. Can you say that again? Right what? here. Don't worry Right here it. in front of this one. Don't worry about right it. Here. Don't worry right about here. it. You're right good. There. You're right there. Don't, don't I get don't it. Well, Extreme close-up, Zach McVay style. There we go. So you got some gray in your beard. Uh, a lot. <laughs> it's been an interesting year, Chris. It's been a very yeah, interesting yes. year. <laughs> right? Let, let me put the. Uh, it's only going to be more. Let me, put, oh, yeah. let me put the proper uh, Zach <laughs> McVay at the coach's mm. box. There you go. Oh, Thank you. Hey. Well. Zach, um, wow. Zach, you're kind of coming out of your shell the last few weeks. No. I'd like to find out why that is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Winning some baseball games, having fun coaching baseball. There you go. That's, that's what it's that's about, right, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Youth baseball. Hey. Good stuff. Yeah. I love it. I got opening night when you tomorrow got a, night. When you got an eighth grader that's 6'2 and throws in the 80s, it's fun. And then you get a seventh grader who's throwing mid 80s, it's even better. It's like, this is like a Lily World series where they just. It's, I'm <laughs> telling you. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, they're fun. They're fun. You have any coach. proof? It's got a yeah, have crayon 12. red. <laughs> the, 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 uh, so we played Monday. We played Monday. And the other coach on the other team goes, hey, how old are you? He said, I'm in eighth grade. No, you're not. you got to be at least 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this kid crazy. drives the bus. Kid drives the bus. He's oh. in uniform. Uh-huh. Goes out there. You think it's a coach warming up the catcher. No, it's a nope. guy pitching. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Dude, you just make him shave before every game, right? So you got to worry about that? No, not yet. Just He's, saying. He, he ain't done growing either. Oh, God. Yeah, he ain't done growing either. That's, great that's, kid. Great family. Uh, and, yep. That's, but anyway. That's, that's great. Yeah. It's at national headlines now. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, because uh, are we, are we're, we, we're, we're going to wait. Agenda. We're going to wait on Jarvis. Yeah. Do we, right. we want to throw out the prize thing oh, there, there real quick? I see hey. a signing. There he oh, is. Oh, there he is. Watch. Prize sign up. Is yeah. it the same? Yeah. It's the same. Okay, yeah. so here's the prize sign up form. I, Again. And he brought it. Thank it. 
He did. Yeah. Oh, looky it's here. It's falling apart or something, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, he's messed with it. Yeah. Did you uh, break it? Got yeah. Loose. Got loose. You broke it. Don't you mm. got a... Don't you got like My a socket? Gosh, to fix Jarvis. It? That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> you know, I had that thing for a long time, and I never had any issue with it. I had to put it in my truck so I wouldn't forget it. So it's been rolling around. <laughs> so proud of this. So proud been so of much. This. That's yeah. what it was mine, so I can't say too much. Look, uh, oh my gosh, yeah, it's loose. Wow. Can we fix that? Well, I mean, wow. you got a socket. Uh, I'm planning on. I'm planning on winning that this I'll week. I'll just take it home, so it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Well, Jason, since you weren't here before the show, yeah, I it's going to be our trivia today will be all college basketball. Oh, cool. Better be ready. Why are you doing that? Better Why do you do that to us like that? Why? Because we're like going to win. Well, it's we better like it. than the 19, 1901 <laughs> <laughs> What female pitcher struck out? I mean, come on. <laughs> what Canadian women's curler? <laughs> I never had a curly <laughs> uh, Never. Uh, Man. What tennis player in Sorry. 1932? <laughs> you know, Your you sound know, effects uh, doesn't make it any less true. No, them sound effects are annoying. <laughs> Blues scored a goal. 4-2? Hey. to Yeah, it's 4-2 now. Yeah, okay. that, off the back of the goalie. Mm. Nice. Mike Did Hoffman, you watch it? We could have traded him. I was listening to it on the way here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You listen Good on that other you. radio station. I I, yeah, I mean, it was a short drive. I mean, it's they so scored in the, the drive from <laughs> nice. the gym to here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Coach Buddy's man in the rest of the open gym right now. He's so. a good dude. Mm-hmm. Coach hey, 15 Buddy. kids Thanks, in Coach there Buddy. That's, hey. that's, that's hey. time. That's How number? many? 15. We'll Did you take hear 15. that? 15. That's a good yeah, number. Put that on the group, me. Do you have that? 15 guys all out the, there. Uh, Where are you clowns at? <laughs> all the other. <laughs> no wonder all they beat the, all you the guys. Other. <laughs> hey, well, we beat you once. Hey. That's what I'm going to do. Don, Don, Don. Tell them. Hey. It's like, oh, you I'm heard sorry. You first. Hey, we doubled. We only had seven last week, so we doubled. Huh? Hey, that's yeah. National good. headlines. That's where we were at. Right. National headlines. So the big, the big thing that just passed. Mm. Carpenter hit a home run. Well, that, that you already missed that. <laughs> yeah, no, we already you already blew that. that. Yeah, that's that's squirrel found the nut. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Um, no, uh, the transfer portal now in the NCAA yes. is Craziness. opening to all sports. I like it. No one year. Is that what the thing you said? Yep. I never. Read I, it I mean, I've we couldn't open the one that was sent, but oh, uh, well. that's. Yeah, but that's 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 the that they just passed it, so it's uh, it they don't have to wait and sit anymore. Wow! You get one before yeah, I saw graduation. That on the, yes. Heard that on the way here. One before graduation, yep. so I could be you could be in Kentucky and realize that you know why do I want to do that. You can just go to UCLA and not have to sit wow. and dominate, and make it to the final four. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's Kentucky do this year? Not one, year. Same as one year. One year. One year. No, it wasn't the same as Mizzou. Mizzou was in the tournament, and then they got. But they were in it. That's true. They were. <laughs> they got a banner for it or something. Yeah, I mean. They Do got... they even have a roster right now? Mizzou. Dude, they yeah, yeah they half of them are on the transfer portal. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Go look them up. Have a, do they even have? No, yeah, they've added. They're some... all gone. Have no, they added they... anything in yeah, the last week? Yeah, they've added some good players. Have they? Yeah. Good. All right. That's good. I got breaking news. Oh, yes. Thanks. Is it national? It, it's not. Na- well, kind of national. Here he goes. He out we are put in. We are in for Bush Stadium. Nice. We are in for the Bush Stadium game Is next, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday night. National news. Next, Wednesday. next Wednesday. So we got to decide when we're doing our show. Then. Well, we're talking about. I'm going to talk to them about maybe doing it before the game. Can we make it? I'm not going to be there. <laughs> I have open gym, dude. That's the job that pays me, so I have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we did at four o'clock, you could be there, could you? No, I'm doing the little kids. Oh, that's right. Next, camp week. next yeah, week. That's right. You're yeah. the weakest that's link. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> anyway, there you go. All right. Anyway, so back to our national headlines. Jeez. That's a headline. The headline Headlines. is not a national one. We that covered that another time. National headline. So, I think this is a really good thing. Is that any sport? Just basketball? Yes. Every sport? Every sport now. Does that That's change crazy. the landscape of college football? That changes the landscape of all Everything. college but sports, especially basketball and football. Basketball, football, big, big two. I mean, even even women's basketball. Yeah, Agreed. I mean, cool. uh, yeah, I mean, now it's like, oh, I don't like it here. I can go they t- to UConn. Hey, they talked. Uh, they talked about should they open that up and instead of graduating four years before you can go into the WNBA draft, make a kind of what they have right now and the with NBA. The NBA. Mm-hmm. I well, sure I, hope I, not. I think the one and done rule is stupid. I do too. Uh, Two or three. No, I, I think you Zero. go uh, it's, zero. I, I think baseball has the best mm-hmm. best one. You either. You're right out of high school. You get or you, drafted, or you, you, know, go, you, you gotta sit out two if years. You can, if you can get drafted to go 
overseas and fight in war if you had to. You ought to be able to go draft, I, I get think, drafted I, to go but, get a job. But I think you should be able to get drafted, and if you don't like it and don't sign, you can go back into the draft. You just go to college. I can go overseas and play and get drafted again. I mean, yeah. why not have more rounds? There's only two rounds in basketball anymore. That's it, uh-huh. just two. Mm-hmm. Well, you got the you got the there's a salary cap. There's a salary it doesn't cap. doesn't matter. They had a salary cap in 1993, and they mm-hmm. still did it. They still had like seven rounds. Mm-hmm. I mean, you had guys like Popeye Jones and <laughs> Detlef Shrimp and guys like that <laughs> you never heard of because well, of multiple pa- rounds. Popeye Jones. Yeah. <laughs> I threw that one. <laughs> Random dude. Just uh. thinking of all the basketball cards I used to have as a kid. But I, I think, I mean, why not? Why not, why not do it like that? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To have have the opportunity to, if I don't like this, I can go to college. Okay, mm-hmm. I didn't get I didn't get the I, I didn't get the lottery. I like money. So then, what do you do? Back. What do you do then, if you are the organization that drafted said player? You're just out of luck. Kind of. Yep. Or better yet, or you draft their rights and they can decide to go to college. Mm-hmm. Well, didn't they do that with Rubio? When he got drafted, well, he was. That's the. They, they can do that with 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 European or, okay, or international international players. International players okay. Me. So why can't you do that if you're mm-hmm. here? Mm-hmm. It, okay, like Larry Bird was drafted before. Mm-hmm. I mean, he he got to play in Indiana State. Mm-hmm. He was property of the Celtics. Mm-hmm. But yeah. that's a, that's like literally the last American player that's been able to do that. Mm. Or David Robinson, because well, it's military service. Right. But yeah. to me, that doesn't make any. I, I think. If if I don't want to go and play right away, mm-hmm. I can go do what I want. I can go mm-hmm. play overseas. Or to me, I think it's just it's ridiculous that it's. it's are you going to get paid? Or are you going to defer payment for later? You have to defer payment. Defer. Well, mm-hmm. Defer. Just CBA? like I do my college loans. That's why I owe <laughs> arm and leg and a kidney. Uh, what are you? Deferring? But not a hand. College loans. Don't but not a hand. Not, I, not, I, not in a hollow hand. <laughs> I deferred <laughs> mine a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not good. Well, right now no. it's okay because. We don't have to pay anything. <laughs> you not pay any interest, yeah. right? I'm just really hoping that we don't have to pay anything. If we're, <laughs> hey, if we're giving away free money to everybody, just give me some more of that. <laughs> I know, and I've almost paid mine There's off. There's no such thing as free. Just remember that. Free, 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 <laughs> free, free. Yeah. Everything so is free. Have you filled up your tank lately? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it, was it, free. Was yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. It was free. It was free. expensive. It's free. Uh, no. yeah, free. They gave, they gave but. handouts to the gas station? <laughs> <laughs> free gas. Free gas? Yeah. What else is free there? <laughs> <laughs> Try it, and then when someone comes and tracks you down, it's not, was it free? Well, nationally, I know, just a quick one, did you hear about the softball pitcher, the college softball pitcher that threw the perfect game? 21, 21 outs, 21 strikeouts. College softball player. Wow. North Texas. Nice. Wow. That, that's, that's pretty neat. That's, yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's yeah. impressive. That's I don't impressive. care if you're playing the school of the blind. That's still impressive. What, what do you think about DeSmet mm-hmm. High School football coach? Yeah. I know. Resigning to go, go to the NFL. Be with a Minnesota. Yeah. Have you? I, I mean, I've yes. never seen that before. So a high school like coach, here, especially here, locally. I see well, locally. Well, he, played, he got the job. He, well, he played in the NFL. He played, played. in the NFL yeah. for the Vikings. For the Vikings. Yes. Oh. Okay, so Affiliates. that's the connection with so it. So Affiliates. basically when they fire their coaches, he's going to have to look for another job. Maybe. You don't think it's they – the Vikings. Oh, have yeah. you not noticed the turnover? Maybe. But if he went They're, there, the, that's the reason why he's okay, getting a chance You said the Vikings and win. Oh, man. No. <laughs> oh, man. Rob Metcalf better might be watching. He'd be care. coming what? over here and canceling when's, your insurance. Okay. <laughs> what, when's the last time they won the Super Bowl? When's the last time they were in the Super Bowl? Mm-hmm. I don't let's, know. Let's, let's talk about, what, Gary Anderson. All they you got to do is make a field goal and you get to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> they did draft Randy Moss. That was, like, the smartest and, thing I remember. And then what they do? They traded him. Yeah. Straight yeah. cash, homie. <laughs> get your popcorn ready. I, greatest we just, line <laughs> ever. We just watched Ran University uh, in good? class, That's dude. Good. It was the greatest, man. <laughs> good stuff. That is great. Uh, I, and I mean, there was some of them weren't even interested. I was so aggravated. I don't it's want to talk about it. Challenge. Yeah, I don't it? want to talk about it. Oh. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. History of sports. Hey, if you were in high school, you had a history of sports op- option class, class to take. Would you take it? Okay, so in current if events, a, if I'm an athlete, we would read all. the newspaper yeah. and do summaries. Everybody, yeah. everybody yeah. fought for the sports sections, and that's literally oh. all my class did. Okay, we, we talked about sports yeah. all the time. Read the newspaper, learn how you. Well, read I teach scores. contemporary issues the Just first part, mm-hmm. the first semester, and then the second mm-hmm. semester is history of sports. Hey, that's oh, two, exactly. two really good classes. Hey, they asked yeah, us yeah, if we wanted to put a class out there. Two, I put that. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That was very wise of you. Mm-hmm. I like it. Oh yeah, I really like it. So no, I, I, I'm telling you right now, it's been my favorite class. Yeah, 
I, I think we should move on and, right, and, no, and go to our go some debatable topics. All right, we, we waited discuss. for you, Jarvis. We waited so for Jason. So you've got to bring move, the thunder. We move so the talk? agenda. Yeah, you got to talk. To we it. we, we move the agenda yeah. just, just so you. you could be a well, part of it. Well, thanks for moving the agenda. Yeah. I'm over there trying to make some better basketball players. And know. we we were yeah, all confused. We Ray didn't know. We were all confused. We were just talking about anything and everything because we didn't. We weren't going in order of our agenda. And I got can't all, believe that. Can you believe that? No. Oh, Why man. do you keep wearing this little league head? You come hey. straight from practice? Yeah, I did. Oh, actually. okay. No, I was going over there and got my, all my stuff. So it was in my truck. So I just put it on. Mm-hmm. Got to cover his bald head. Well, it's I'm not as bald as anymore. Huge huge head. Head. What? Like it's it's because of, of that. It's because of that Monate. <laughs> That's right, Monate. It's making his hair grow. It's making my hair grow. Sweet. He's losing weight and growing hair. Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> you had to bring up the weight thing, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I told him when he came in, I was like, I didn't realize I let cancer patients in. Dang. <laughs> That's why I say he's just ripping me a do one. Uh-huh. Actually, hey, somebody asked me if you were sick <laughs> the other day, so I, I had to defend you. I just thought it would be really funny. I was like, uh, oh, yeah, You lost a- too much weight now. Everyone thinks you got <laughs> cancer or something. I'm going to having a commercial. And, I will remember. Oh, my I'm going to do my commercial for next week. For 99 cents. You For next week's show. <laughs> hey, Ben. Ben, I know you're watching. <laughs> you can bend me. He's already he's just like me. I saw oh, a picture man. of him today. Same yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. So debatable. What we, what <laughs> Go ahead, we, Zach. It's all your this your part. Oh, Zach's, my God. Zach's right. party. Zach's party. Oh, we got a couple. Which one do you want to do? Yeah. I think it's to start with first the first one, one and go right. on down. All right. So as coaches, we talk about and and I want I want to actually if we get some some viewers you comment in since it also deals with families contact days so Misha talks about we get twenty contact where's the days. where's the boo thing when we needed for that boo <laughs> you weren't talking if you were talking oh, yeah. you would have had it queued <laughs> up all right contact days Crickets. do you uh, like it do you hate it do you want to change it. Do programs even follow the contact days? Ooh, Not we do. To a t. Is there a better alternative? I'll sit and discuss. I think the biggest the biggest thing now is you're punishing the kids that want and the programs and the coaches that want to do more. You're punishing them. Well, and, and I feel like that's a <clears throat> that's what are you you're what are you trying to get out of kids now if their kids don't you can't make it mandatory as far as that goes but i think it, at the at the big point of all of that is if if you're allowing kids to be in the gym why not allow them if they want to be there why not allow them to be there that's uh, true if I, you're as a, you as a coach are opening up the doors I, for uh, them to come in and do something I'm and gonna, they want to do it do I'm it be the devil's advocate here and say well i got to send it plays three sports mm-hmm. and he's pretty decent at all of them mm-hmm. so and the football coach or the baseball coach or whoever basketball coach that, that guy mm-hmm. um <laughs> you know Something wrong with if him. they're the ones pulling all the athletes and then the kids are never getting to practice the other ones mm-hmm. i think that's why some of that is instituted in i don't my i was talking about this the other day my kid doesn't have time off i mean he's playing three sports and every coach is having mm-hmm. wanting, wanting them at some point or some time. And, I'll, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'm going to go completely off that with that and say, as kids growing up, did we have time off in the summer? Hell yes. no. Yeah, I did. Well, I in didn't. terms of contact days, yes, we sports, did. we didn't. We, there wasn't. I don't think it was as there big. Wasn't, there well, wasn't contact days there. for us. Now, but you're in a different category because <laughs> the, the culture – which well, you know, yeah, at South Iron, you maybe did play basketball every day. I okay, mean, listen, they started didn't. cross country so we could get in shape for basketball. Because okay. after we ran cross country mm-hmm. practice, we had well, we want open a, gym. We mm-hmm. won a state title, and we didn't. We weren't there. No, we had a week, a ca- couple weeks of mm-hmm. camp. I was, that's what I remember growing up. One week for two weeks camp. of camp. Yeah. Two. That's all you or could have. Week, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. All you two could weeks. have was you two had, weeks you of had, camp. Yep. And that's how the old rule was until they made mm-hmm. contact days. Mm-hmm. So you used to only have – you could have um, – what was it? Two, it was two seven-day – you could have two seven days worth of camps. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think it had, the weeks had to be butted up to each other too, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mm-hmm. It might be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that way you could only block off that much and time. And I'm not saying I'm for or against them. I'm just saying in a 
small school atmosphere, mm-hmm. it's gotta hard. Sh- got to share athletes. And especially if hey, you're trying l- l- to build a program. A, it's not small school. It's everywhere. Well, I know, but yeah. especially if you're yeah. you're coming in and you're the program that's down mm-hmm. and the other program is up and winning, It's gonna you're going to be fighting with that coach all the mm-hmm. time. For the kids, it shouldn't that could be another I, topic? I, for I, another I, day, and I'm gonna I'm gonna know. go off that because I think that's a good <laughs> point to make. Here, here's the thing: as far as athletes and in general, okay, if we can't all share our athletes in the summertime anyway, yep, we should be putting a schedule together that says the gym is open mm-hmm. for at this time, at this time, or this time, and this time. And if they can get in there, they can mm-hmm. get in there. Mm-hmm. At that point, I don't think you punish certain kids that may only do basketball and let's say football in the summer mm-hmm. okay if those are only two those two sports they do and football is at that school only does all of July mm-hmm. and basketball does all of June right why are you punishing that mm-hmm. those well, kids I would to make love them it decide if it was that. that way i would I love know. it if if june was all yep. basketball and i won't Winter i wouldn't sports. mess with them in july Winter, i yeah you, and, you but, try to do that at it places, just, but it doesn't work. It never no, works. I can tell no. you right now, it never works. Yeah. Well, here's and, and I'll tell you the thing that in in my past with with working with an athlete. So I had a girl wind up. Now I know it going, works at some schools. Yeah. But I'm, I'm well, saying. no, no. I'm just talking about when you say about pulling for here, there, and everywhere. So you know, uh, the Forbes girl who's D1. Okay. Like it was well known. Like she's playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it was well known. Like, no, I'm not doing volleyball over the summer. Like, I'm going to go play when it starts. <laughs> I'm going to this. I'm going to this trip in Chicago. I'm going down here in Orlando. I'm going here, here, here because that's where the the coaches and scouts are at, and they're going to go see me play. And I have aspirations of D1. Well, I had. I mean, yeah. I had Jordan Duncan, and I, yeah. I knew that yeah. he's playing two five three, and mm-hmm. um, he came to whatever he could, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I was fine with that. Yeah, I mean. And here's the thing. So I think he, it's, it's important. Here's, well, and then here's the, once again, everything's cyclical. So you, as a coach, well, you're told we have to do this, right? We have to do these contact days. That's part of our job now. It's part of our evaluation. That's part of our contracts, part of this, part of that. Okay, great. But how, how when it's summertime and you can offer it, but then it, it – Yes, it's positive, but it's also negative because, well, now I've got six kids. I want to go to the shootout, but I don't have enough kids. I want to have a camp. I don't have these kids. Oh, wait, these kids got to go here. These kids got to go there. And yet somehow you're tying into our evaluation on what we do in the four months from now, five, six months from now over these summer contest well, that, days. Well, and, and that's, an, that's an outdated practice because we that, that kind of evaluation where if it's tied into your uh, – to your contract or mm-hmm. if you're doing things or being active with your kids, mm-hmm. that's it, it's a different generation. People used to push their kids outside in the summertime to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Kids aren't doing that as much. Mm-hmm. So if the parents are saying, no, they, they, need, they need some time to relax, they need this or that, mm-hmm. they're not getting that same go outside and get – Get the hell outside and, and go play go. sports. Mm-hmm. Go play with your friends. Go go do something mm-hmm. that's active. Mm-hmm. And we don't have that same thing. So you have a lot of kids saying, well, I just want to enjoy my summer. And <laughs> the parents are all supportive of that. Listen, mm-hmm. kids are going to go on vacation with their family. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. That's that's something you're never going to win as a coach. You're mm-hmm. not going to win that battle. Mm-hmm. Some kids have more pull with their families mm-hmm. about going on vacations mm-hmm. than others. But well, that's it, why we give the dead weeks so soon. Sure. Mm-hmm. They already know when our two dead weeks are right now. Right. Mm-hmm. Make your plans then. Make your vacations then. I get that. That's tough, though. And, and that's I, tough depending and on that's what tough they can as schedule a, As a parent. As a parent. That's, we, we can say that because we're off, and, and we have that luxury of having that summertime, that you know, May, June, June, July, August off. Other families, it just we're sometimes not it doesn't. Make what are you kidding me? May, you just said we're off in May, whatever. June, July, and August. We are we're technically off in June 28th, and July, twenty eighth, twenty ninth. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I mean June <laughs> and July. That's it, right? But here, here goes back to this, okay? And I, and I think that once they have established that twenty days, or it was twenty five, and then they marked down to twenty, and but I, I think that you've seen so more. So back to twenty. What yeah, is it? 20. It's 20. twenty. But I've seen more kids in my last five or six years do less in the summer because as as coaches we're trying to set up our 20 days and maximize it to a t yep Mm -hmm. so we're setting up our schedule accordingly okay and but then those kids are not being able to make it 
to our stuff, and we're losing out on that time. But we only got 20 days, so we're trying to figure out as best of a schedule as we can. But it doesn't always defer to all kids. Mm-hmm. Well, you're not going to make everybody happy. And that's what I'm trying to say. So I think you open <laughs> it up for any time during the summer, you and your yeah. coaching staff and in the school district get together and say, okay, hey, I'm going to open the gym up for basketball on these nights in the summer. And you're mm-hmm. going to pick the nights right away. And then the football coach says, I'm going to do some, you know, something besides that. Um, and these dates, and then baseball says that, and then you know softball says this, and cross country says this, mm-hmm. and or whatever. The fact of the matter is, is if everybody's on the same page for all the athletes, it opens up the kids an opportunity to want to, d- to do what they want to do. Right. When we say, well, this is the only days we got, you got to be there. Well, they have a life, and now we're telling them they have to be there because that's the only twenty days we get. Well, I mean, but it's like this: kids are going to be okay. We all coach basketball. So if, they, if they're just coming to those things and that's the only thing they do, they're not probably going to be very good unless they're just given with God-given talent. Agreed. They're going home and playing. Right. And they're going and playing other people. They're playing AU. They're doing other things. If they do that, I don't, it doesn't bother me nearly as much because at least they're more well-rounded when they come to me in November ready for practice. The kids who don't do anything, they show up. They don't come to anything. They show up finally in November. It's like – uh, depart from me, I don't even know you just mm-hmm. about because I'm not giving that person the first look. I'm going to give the guy that I've seen all summer that I can mm-hmm. count on. They're dependable. And it's not because uh, I don't like the kid. It's just because they haven't been there and they haven't worked on their game. Right. So then they're, you know, their parents are the first ones who probably piss them on them because they're not playing as much. Well, I don't know what to tell you. We, uh, Get better. I Come am, in and do well, stuff. I had the gym open. There's opportunities. I think what happened, and at least with these whole contact days, I'm kind of – my thought process is either open it up and say you have unlimited contact days. You do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Go do – or as a, as a as Misha, you say, no, you get one week per sport, that's it. That's or it. I that's say – or I say you give it and put it in the hands of the school district and say they are in charge that ain't, of – that it's if, a, if it's they're going to do that, it's way. the same problem as having like each county regulate the health code. I get my point, but that's it, what I'm it, trying it, to say right it's, now. It's that messed up. Well, right now, as as far as 20 days, okay, I think that you're telling, you're now telling parents, here's what I got. Two and a half weeks. If your kid can't make it, they're going to get passed up, and I'm going to tell that kid that. That's what the mentality is. That's, that's what kids are thinking. But you can't tell them that. You can't. No. That's exactly right. That's in my I'm mind, saying. in my mind, I'm thinking if I'm putting together a depth chart. Right. I had this conversation today with with Coach Tilden. I said, if I'd put together a depth chart, I'm looking at the guys I've been seeing. I ain't gonna look at the guys I haven't seen a hiding their hair of, and they're gonna show up and be like, "Oh, do I get to play now?" No. But but <laughs> but I think that takes a, this t- would that would take that away from that the opportunity if you had the gym open. Let's say, but you out of twenty, you had forty. But you're not at a school district. You're going to have so many people with agendas. I don't want the school district deciding. I want Mission mm-hmm. to tell them, mm-hmm. tell the school districts mm-hmm. this is what it is. Because mm-hmm. if you're in a school that's dominated by mm-hmm. one sport, mm-hmm. and, that you're, takes and you're the coach sure. that's not in that mm-hmm. sport, I agree. then you're the one that's screwed. Mm-hmm. I agree. And uh, I've seen it. Mm-hmm. And I've seen mm-hmm. and I've seen people have to battle it. Mm-hmm. And bun- mm-hmm. bull crap. Because mm-hmm. you know and I know that there are certain individuals in power at schools that they prefer other sports over others. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. And, the, the, and I'm not saying that at my, it's at my school or this school. It's everywhere in America. That's in it's America. I mean, America. it's just, yes. Right. But well, I don't it, think that it's, it's, it's gone away from the whole stipulation. Now we're trying to handcuff every uh, – we're trying to handcuff sports in general, in my opinion. And that's why a lot of high school sports – are starting to lose a lot of focus is because it's going all to that summer AAU stuff. There's you know, no all, rules. And where, where there is no it's rules. It's Wild West. So yeah. I, I really think that's this 20, this 20, 25 contact days has started to make that more appeasable for parents. And well, rightfully so because they can pick and choose when they want to go because they can go and do whatever they want to do. 
Yeah, it's and, their and, right. And they get exposure they, oh, yeah. doing that. Yeah. Yes. They, we don't provide in the summertime. Mm-hmm. We and can't. what should what they should really do is they should do away with the stupid limitation of contact days. And during the summer, you have to at least give, I would say, between two and three dead weeks tops, maybe at the beginning, maybe at the end, maybe one in the middle. And no sports can operate during those times. Everything else is fair game. Right. Be done with it. Be done with it. Well, here, here's my other question to you. And, okay? it's, and it's universal. You, you have to pick, like they do now, you have to, you have to pick your week. Mm-hmm. So whenever your school is out, whatever that is, and, and not make it ten days. That's stupid anyway. Mm-hmm. I, five days, six days, because nobody t- – Okay, not everybody takes a 10-day vacation. Well, not That's everyone good. can afford to take that. No today. kidding. <laughs> right. I'm lucky okay, to go I, on a three-day. <laughs> three-day? I'm happy for an overnight. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's like, you. oh, yeah, say the night. Okay, let's get up and go, go, go. <laughs> but that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, just, just give the dead week time, two weeks, three tops, and the rest of the summer, just open it up. Because the, we, you're right. We are losing kids to select, to AAU, to all these non-high school sports, these sports organizations. They're winning. They're winning across the board. They've already won. This, they've already won uh, in volleyball. Volleyball is done. Yes. I mean, that's my my pick. Oh, no, dude, I, it's I, over. Softball. Okay. Oh yeah, believe me, because I went to a volleyball tournament. Yeah. Basketball is about ready to hit. I'm sorry. Sunday, seven thirty. We didn't leave until almost three thirty. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is the most brutal thing. I mean, love my daughter, but God, it was horrible. Well, <laughs> so so those those club sports are winning. Well, mm-hmm. And then and, the other thing is, okay, how much. How much time in those 20 days do you get to focus on skill development in the gym? <laughs> but you're not. Well, I'm not. You're I'm trying to. Yeah, you're exactly. trying to get games. Why, though? Get those why? Give us together. the why. So Give us play the why. Because I want the kids being competitive. I, I need okay. them to play in games. And? I want them to play together. Littering and? Well, I Littering and? and, and well, I want them to play together. Right. Yeah. That's, but that's what they want to do. You think they want to come in and let No, they don't want to come. I mean, exactly. I just had open gym. Believe me, I know. Right. Yeah. They, they want to scrimmage. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to do. Coach, we're going to scrimmage they, today? They, <laughs> yes. The, Coach, we scrimmage? Yeah. Coach, we scrimmage? Do, they have, do you have a kid who says that with a lisp? I used uh, to. I swear to God, I wanted to punch the kid. Steven? <laughs> oh, my God. No, no this, is, this, is like, this is like when I first started coaching. He's like, Coach, we scrimmage today? So every uh, damn day in practice. <laughs> yeah, they weren't, they weren't thrilled about the mic and drill today. And the double mic and drill with, you know, a, hand in e- a ball in each hand. You know, they don't like, like the challenge. mic and drill? Well, they're learning to like it. They'll learn today. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. Well, as many layups as we missed, we're going to do fair. Great. Two point, I get it. two good foot point. shots. But that's what we said going back to when Steph Curry's asked, how do you, you know, why are you so good? Because I'm not afraid to do the boring stuff. Kobe mm-hmm. Bryant, why are you so good? Because I do the boring stuff. Fundamentals, fundamentals, yes, yes, fundamentals. Yes, yes. But then I always, then I always hear, well, if you're not working on the fundamentals on your own, mm-hmm. then you're not going to be any good anyway. And I and I the thought flop process on that whole mm-hmm. thing is everybody needs role players. Hundred uh, percent agreed. Amen. Hundred percent agreed. And that's where not you look baby. at you not look at baby. the quality teams. What do you mean? My the quality high starting. school basketball teams have one your good player <laughs> and four other role players around them. I mean, the small schools do, and you get a little bit bigger, you kind of need a. One, one player two. per each mm-hmm. cla- gray, uh, class size mm-hmm. you are. Right. Mm-hmm. But you think about those role players. Those role players are very, very, very valuable mm-hmm. to team success anymore. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where we've lost that well, because yeah. we haven't been able to give that kids an opportunity to do that in the offseason. I've got it. I've got it solved. I hope we so. We need to get ribbons that say role player. <laughs> role <laughs> player of the year. Role player ribbons. Role player ribbons. Role player <laughs> ice cream cones. <laughs> You didn't get a starting no spot, more. but you got an ice cream cone. <laughs> no more pair problems, problems, right? Here's no your more. Player. Wait, do we have to do that when we get when we have cuts? <laughs> our boy, you didn't make the team. <laughs> You're the our boy <laughs> of the year. <laughs> but here's your ribbon and your ice cream cone for at least coming I, to uh, participate. That is one of the worst days of the year. It was coach. That is the worst uh, day as a coach. It is. Yeah. It is the worst day it as a coach. Why? Can I, can really? operate like like. Trump used to. Well, and he's, the, he's three of, the three of us, the three of us have beating hearts. <laughs> not a, I, yeah, exactly. Just a, uh, a hole look in your how chest. How black it is over exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> See right through it. See right through it. Yeah. So, so um, I, I know. What, <laughs> the, the, I mean, it, it, I know we got some parents watching. <laughs> I want to hear what parents' thought process on this on the says. contact days. Of, I yeah. like Crump's comment though, because in, and I'm not a football coach, but it, he says it's not enough in football because of the progression. You have to be a whole week before they get in pads. Yeah, climatization. Yeah, 
I mean, you got to do everything in the morning because it's so damn hot in the summertime, mm-hmm. which cuts into basketball in the morning. <laughs> but, I mean, it's – I've, I mean, I've uh, always dealt with I, that. I, well, you're always going to deal with that, and I've always liked – I mean, at most schools, June is basketball, July is football. That's I don't, I don't like winter, anything in July. Winter, no. I usually – I have one open gym a week, and but this year I might only have like two or three days left, so I'm not going to be able to do much in July. Yeah. Dave I, is your I'm heart. going to Pius for something <laughs> one one week. I mean, oh, are you? Yeah, 18th, I think. Oh, what are you doing over there? Next level. Next oh, that's level. right. Yeah. Next level. By the way, if anybody wants to, you know, be a part of the next level shootout, St. Pius, we've got two of them going it's, on. It's awesome. I know. If I can get enough, I might go. I might do both. Do both. We'll see. You should. Be a good time. Yep. Still yeah. looking for some teams. Good stuff there. It's going to fill out. Well, I price. figure that's a lot easier to go right there than to go. To Way down Dexter there. or Rolla no, or, or Branson. Not, I'm even talking just close. The weekend I'm going to your place, there's one that's even closer, but I'm like, eh, I'll go to your place. That'll work. All right, so what's the next one? We want Uh-oh, to talk one more before we know. go into a break here All and right. finish it up. So do you want to do things that derail a program or talk about program philosophy expectations? I thought you were just picking. Okay, I'll pick. There you go. I things like that. Things that derail it. Right. I think Let's it's do good. derail. I want to hear what you got derail. on this. Things that derail a program. Yeah. Hey, from hey, a coaching perspective. We were getting the derailed here. I've got a couple text messages. Uh-oh, Ray. Fix it. Ray, go turn the antenna. <laughs> You have to do something. That's what Grandpa used to say. <laughs> yeah, yep. can't, can't watch the game. Hey, go turn the antenna. Turn the channel. <laughs> you to go outside and turn uh-huh. it, physically turn uh-huh. the antenna. I was uh-huh. the remote. Uh-huh. Turn it down. Uh-huh. Game's times. on channel 11. Uh-huh. All so, right, so derail. What, so one, we'll yeah, ask it one more time. Talk about one more time. All right, so, I, so what, in your opinion, and we said this is from the coaching perspective, things that will derail a program. Jealousy. jealousy. I think that's a, one of the biggest things. And uh, what do you mean, jealous? Who? Who? Are we talking children, adolescents, adults, if you will? I, I, uh, I mean, I think it's both. Uh, I think it is combination. Both. I think it's, think both. it's both. And you know, this is a t- touchy Glory subject days. if you really want to look at it, but this way. Right? But here, here's what I tell you about this. I think the biggest, the biggest problem, problem. I can't talk to now. Man. <laughs> He got, I don't got, do it. I got, don't you do it. it. Don't, don't you do it. Education. Don't you do it. Hooked on fire. Well, I needed something <laughs> to drink to wet my whistle here. All but, right. uh, uh, I don't the, know. Maybe that's. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sierra Mist. That's what I want. Oh, man. Can we Refill. talk about the subject so you guys get some orders here? I know. Can we get this? <laughs> what? What? Take your Adderall. Let's move on. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You guys picking on me. But where is where is the biggest frustration as far as derailing a program is, I think, was when you don't get commitment from both sides. Mm-hmm. If you can't get a commitment only from the kids but also from the adults, I think that's when programs derail. Mm-hmm. If your commitment level is equal on both sides, that's when you have success. I've I've seen that and not only just just I'm saying in our program, but in, in lots of programs that I've seen successful it's had commitment from both sides equally. And I think that's where it takes a, a turn for the worse is when the kids aren't supportive of it or maybe the parents aren't supportive of it and they're not together. I think you see a lot of programs start to fail and derail. So, so I had this philosophy in all my years of travel uh, from job to job being <laughs> terrible. I think you have to have three things. I think you have to have – you obviously have to have some players, whether they're talented, committed – one which way or the other. Mm-hmm. You have to have good parents mm-hmm. because the parents have to, obviously, like you said, I think that by, that goes exactly No, yeah, they, have they have to support. They have to support. They have to be at some level. And you have to have good administration. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Because let's put it like this. It doesn't <laughs> matter. I've seen, I've seen even the year before this last one, the coach wins the state championship and he got fired. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's the problem. When it comes, I mean, that, to me, that, those are the things, those are the three mm-hmm. things I feel that can derail a program because, and then you just add whatever into those three mm-hmm. different groups. Mm-hmm. So if you're talking about jealousy, it could be players, it could be parents, it could, hell, it could be administration. They or it could like be, the fact that you, that you have more power as a coach than them. Let's, okay. Or could it be, popular. could it be assistant coaches? 
Oh, definitely assistant <laughs> coaches. <laughs> definitely. I mean, I, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll say that mm-hmm. that sometimes that is maybe a a bigger issue than than most people know. Are you talking about Kyle? Is Kyle jealous? No. Yeah. Kyle's Kyle jealous? No. Kyle. Kyle, is, is Kyle allowed to Kyle. watch tonight? Kyle, <laughs> if you're out I mean, there listening, Kyle, come over to the boys' side. I'll take you. <laughs> I'll take you. But I, I do believe that sometimes that come, comes into way of the entire program because – they're behind the scenes telling the kids mm-hmm. and the parents something completely opposite of what you as the head coach is telling them, and I think it derails programs even faster. Well, they're playing good cop to your bad cop. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and it's not mm-hmm. promoting the same cop message there. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's, Absolutely. They're just, you know, like, oh, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's like the, the line from uh, remember, remember the Titans, you know, you're crippling them. Mm-hmm. And it, cut, not, my, cut my legs. Cut my legs. Not, yeah, that's, mm-hmm. it, it's, it, that's, that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. So you can't, you can't undermine – the direction of the program, mm-hmm. yes. No matter what role you are, whether it's an assistant coach, a parent, mm-hmm. a player, mm-hmm. an administrator, board, and how much of the and I kind of goes with the administrator. Part I always go back to the whole point of to go. How much time does do you put into the program as far as from a kid's standpoint or a parent standpoint to better it? Does that give you an opportunity and a right to comment on it? And to be a part of it, or to do all of that, I think a lot of a lot of perception is, well, you only take care of the ones that help you, or you only take care of the kids that only are that are supportive of you, or vice versa. And I've always firm believer that is, if you got everybody on board for the same issue and the same thing, you will be supported regardless. And I think that's an important thing is. Is they may not see eye to eye on things with me, but they're supportive of what I'm doing as a whole. So that's what the common theme is, and I think that's what the common theme of a lot of programs that fail is: is the coach um, is not consistent in his message or she, her message across the board. And I think that's when you see that derailment happen mm-hmm. is because they don't nobody knows who what to support mm-hmm. because there's no common L- path. Let's do this and. Your, your daughter's not quite to the age of where our kids are. But let parent, 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 mm-hmm. parent, all in junior high or, or high school. Yes. Okay. Soon to be all high school okay. for me. Yeah. Now, I will be the first to admit with my son going into school sports, uh, it, it, there was a couple times where that parent instinct tried to kick in. But, I mean, it, it – got shut down and went right right in coach mode mm-hmm. and it was no we're, we're not we're not dealing with this we're not going to we're you know we're not gonna we're not gonna go that way right but i can tell you from a selfish parent standpoint those feelings were there and probably if if i had not been around i had not coached for you know what? Sixteen plus years and been around to know that I could told. I totally understand. Yes. How parents? I don't know how to say it. How parents go off the deep end. Right. I, I totally understand it. So and, and I you know I've told my my uh, families you know over the past several years. I said I'm gaining a new perspective now that my son's getting older and getting involved in things. Yep. Um, but at the same time. At the same time, common sense needs to prevail and realize I'm not going to have that conversation in front of him. I'm going to talk with my wife. And even at the end of the day, whether I feel I'm right or whether I disagree with what any coach or teacher or anybody is going to say, it's, it's still they're the adult, you're the, you're the child, what they say goes. Well, I, I, think, I don't think – I think any parent – and I know that – listen, my, my dad didn't agree with the way my coach coached me in the role he put me in and he made it very clear to me and I can only take that and use it for my own knowledge moving forward with my mm-hmm. kid if she decides to play sports but you're not setting your kids up for success 100% when agree. you are down when you're degrading yes. or dis- openly disagreeing mm-hmm. in front of your kid and talking bad about the coach who's yep. trying to direct them because mm-hmm. Young minds are molded mm-hmm. more often by their parents mm-hmm. or people that they live mm-hmm. with. Let's say that's just one hundred percent true. Yep. And then when they go and they participate Proven. in these sports, mm-hmm. they have a hard time following that because in the back of their mind, in mm-hmm. the place where they are the most impacted, where they have mm-hmm. all those 
fundamental beliefs mm -hmm. that you put that seed in there mm -hmm. and now they don't they don't believe in what you're trying to sell them mm -hmm. and what you're trying to teach them so when they become adults mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. they can't keep a job <laughs> because they're so used to disagreeing with the person mm -hmm. who's the authority mm -hmm. figure trying to direct them how are we, how are we teaching success mm -hmm. so or honor, or oh wait i don't get in my way i'm going to switch teams Oh wait! I didn't get what I want. I'm gonna go switch teams. Now right. I'm gonna switch why is third your, why, team. Okay. Why, why, why are you? Why does your resume have all these different kinds of places, mm -hmm. and you can't keep a job? Mm -hmm. Because you're not used to being able to take that kind of direction. Mm -hmm. Correct. You're you're not mm -hmm. used to that. And look, yeah, okay. Yeah, I've worked a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Okay, I piss a lot of people off. Believe it or not. No. <laughs> no. But with that comes a little bit of learning each time too. Not just. But try to do it like this. And it's not because I couldn't listen to authority. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, just saying, that's that's what we're setting up our kids. Mm -hmm. for, we're setting them up for failure well, when we don't, when we do that openly to with them. I, if I, if I'm going to disagree with whoever coaches my kid because I wouldn't coach the way they would. That's exactly right. And that's okay, though. Exactly as, long right. as, you, as long as you're doing right by them, I, I'm Here, just going to go The difference, it. though, the difference, and, and to, just to add to what you're saying, coaches get dinner tabled to death. Oh, my. That's That's where coaches get fired. Yes. Coaches get fired and they, they lose the, the program table. and the program gets derailed at the dinner table. I agree with you. Yeah. And it's I, I've I've learned since my kid have you talked about mm -hmm. my kids are, are oh, to the age now where, you know, I've I've been a parent on the other side and we've had to leave a contest and the kids upset about the situation, something that happened on the you know, the baseball field or the basketball court or the soccer field or whatever it was. And I had to sit there and be the parent and not comment. And I will, and I will never do that for the simple fact that uh, that kid has to respect that coach. Mm -hmm. And if I talk bad about that coach mm -hmm. in front of that kid, that kid has automatically mm -hmm. lost all respect for that coach. And I felt like as a parent, I didn't always agree with everything that that coach did, but I always agreed that, they have to have my kids' respect mm -hmm. well, and it, or it's not going to work. It's hard. I mean, I sat here and went to a whole volleyball tournament this past weekend, and Jill played in maybe 20 actual plays. And I was there from 7.30 until 3.30. And I would have liked to have went up and ripped someone's head off. But I sat there in the stands. Mm -hmm. That's Jill's role, and that's what I'm going to do. And – I know That's as a it. coach, I'm not going to go say anything, and I didn't say anything all year about it. What I did do is luckily I was busy on most of those volleyball tournaments, so I didn't have to go. And it's a little different because this is a mm -hmm. something I paid for, right? Not mm -hmm. not a school That's different, a school yeah. team slightly. But different. I still, as a coach, was like, mm -hmm. eh. well, it, you not, mean you wouldn't send an anonymous hate mail to a, a coach? None of us hate mail. Yeah. Wow. wow. I've never even got that one, but that would be it. Hold I'd on. Be you, interested you get the technicals. It. I get the hate mail. <laughs> I didn't get technicals. <laughs> you get, you've got more than me. I didn't have any the last two years. I have to say, you've got more than me. But I got y'all beat on hate mail. Hate, hate mail. Are you sure? Anonymous Man. hate mail? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Da, da, da. I had a board member leave me a voicemail one time and said I'd never get a job within 200 miles of the school. Wow. Wow, that's good. Stuff. Whoa. Wow. That's I was like, like, well, wait a minute. I worked here, here, here. That's all. <laughs> if I drew the circle, I was like, this, well, that's, that's officially incorrect. I'd have kept, I'd have kept that. I, I changed phones a couple times. Every time then. you didn't, every time you got mad about replay that. <laughs> Why did you let me go there and coach? Why did yeah. you let me go there and coach? Thanks, uh. God. <laughs> uh, again, learning experiences. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I really think that when you want your kids to be a part of sports, they have to be able to accept the role mm -hmm. that they're put in. And, and look, I could tell you the story of my dad making me cry because I didn't get to play in the sixth grade game. And yeah, he I'm, basically yeah. didn't want to come mm -hmm. and watch me play one, however many minutes. Mm -hmm. And basically just told me he's going to get better. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, well, I guess that just cleared that up. Mm -hmm. So you go get better. You don't right. like it. Go, go play, go, get better. Make the coach have to play you. Mm -hmm. And if, if they're not playing the best players, then the people who are in charge of the hiring that coach will see that mm -hmm. if they have any kind of knowledge of and anything. We but also no, if there's if there's any if there's any support, if there's any backbone at all, 
the, the people in power, and I'm talking about board members, if they do things the right way, these this isn't an issue. This isn't an issue mm-hmm. at all. But it's a good old boy network, and it's, oh, hey, buddy, how you doing? Let's go, let's go hang out at the... Wherever, do drop or whatever, and let's do this, that, and the other. Do drop. He throw, <laughs> do he throw drop. Say, I, I was know. hoping you'd pick somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, sorry. But anyway, hey, let's go hang Mary out. Jane. Let's Mary go. Jane's. Let's go hang out at the the bonfire. And oh wait, hey, well, okay, Fish you fry. scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, and well, right. that's that's how this works, right? And they don't get it. They don't understand that it's messing with people's livelihoods, and they don't understand. That's right. You're exactly right, Coach. I wake up. The first thing that I do when I wake up, I figure out how how am I going to mess with your child today? How am I going to how am I going to hurt your Make child? Make it happen. Today? That's exactly what. You, no, it doesn't. No, come on. Gotta we're all in this. Well, people aren't in this business for that. I mean, we're not in. <sighs> I mean, it's amazing. We want to impact the youth. We want to try and do I, everything we I can. I want all of my players to hate me so well, much that they don't want to. No, no. Here's no. and I think something we haven't touched on at all. Here is what I'll tell you. As as a Young parent of a young kid, one in high school, and you've got one in high school, one in junior high. Here's the problem I think that we that we failed to to mention is these kids have grown up in our households where we are coach, and we come home and we talk about situations in front of them, and not necessarily in front of them, but they're overhearing our conversations. Um, not about any kid because I don't ever mention a kid's name in front of my kids at all ever. But I will mention situations, and I've talked about different situations as far well, as, you know, well, approach and, and stuff. And with you saying that, my, my kids have wit- witnessed me get berated. Yes, exactly. By, That's what I was going for. By a person. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and, and my, my kids have even seen, like, not even with that, well, like, the way another coach may have, like, say I got beat by 60 points and the coach just kept – yeah. Pouring on, mm-hmm. pouring the game on, and I thought you were friends with that coach, yeah. dead or you know or whatever. <laughs> and that's what I think. I you know think the, my my kids have seen all that crap. So it goes to the same boat of saying as the kid, when when you set your presidents at home with mm-hmm. that kid, they know they know your expectations as a parent mm-hmm. and as a coach. I think we've sometimes have failed those kids because. We've not given them our expectations from the very get-go. And I think that sometimes programs derail because coaches aren't, are not afraid to give their expectations at front because they're afraid to make a mistake. Like, you know, as far as I'm going to go out and say this is what it is. And I think I've no. seen it. You see it a lot. No, that, Maybe young coaches. I, I, I think, it, just, I think it, it gets usurped. I think our authority gets usurped. I, I, a lot of times. I, that's what I'm saying is I think you see that a lot, and I don't know where that is. Where's Players, that medium? Parents, administration. Uh, the ladder. Let's, let's the lever up. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. All goes in it. Mm-hmm. Just saying. And, and it, it, it's that, those are the things that can ruin it. They can, they can ruin a good thing. But they can mm-hmm. also make and it. And they can also make it the best thing. Yes. You got it. Yes. And, and, and everybody just has mm-hmm. to has, – I mean, mm-hmm. has, you, you're hired to do a job. Mm-hmm. They obviously know that this is what how you do it. This is mm-hmm. what you do, and mm-hmm. you do the best you can. I mean, I try to do what's best for the program all the time. Put the kids first, or program first, and the kids. And, and I think that's – I think that – and that was the, the third debatable topic, but I know it's getting late. But I think, like I say at parent meetings, have said over the past, I understand as a coach there is there is right off the bat a clashing – there is a clash between the parent because we are looking at things at a completely different or opposite end of the spectrum. As a parent, as a parent, me, as a parent, I'm looking at my child and I'm looking at is he developing in his sport? And that's what I care about. Yes, I want him to play. I, yes, I want him to compete. Yes, I want him to get on the floor or at whatever on the field. But I'm more worried about is he, is he developing? Right. Okay? A, as a other parents aren't like that. Other parents are, hey, my kid four points. My kid's going to get a college scholarship, blah, 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 right? As a head coach, I'm sorry. Individually, that's the last thing I'm worried about. I'm worried about the program and then funneling it down mm-hmm. to the individual. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I said, so, the, so I, had a, I had a parent mm-hmm. yesterday send me this message, and, and, and it's, a, it's a saying, and I, I think it's, it's, it's a huge saying in the life of a coach. Yeah, and I saw that one on Facebook. Uh, yeah. You know, one of the most important things kids, 
kids you will ever coach is going the one that needs the program more than the program <laughs> needs him or her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that as far as coaches, that's our mentality. Um, you know, we're here to coach, we're uh, but we're also here to mentor and to make kids better. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I think there are so many more aspects of just wins and losses in the game of sports and athletics than than most people ever realize. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's the little impact that you made is the reason why that kid did this or did that. Um, and I think it's on the flip side of that. The one thing you could also do is totally change that kid for the wrong reasons and the wrong ways um, by just something simple that you did. So I think that that's something that it hit home to me when this parent sent me this um, about that. I think it's important to hear. Uh, thanks, Ray. But uh, I mean, because this is a, well, a valuable point for parents to hear. I think it's 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 not always about winning and losing. Because uh, as much as we all four know, we love to win. Mm-hmm. But it's at some point, most wins we ever get are on, on the court with these kids and making an impact in their lives for for the future. Well, and to piggyback real quick before we go to break, I think it. It's not just those wins. It's the wins that they get after they leave. Yes, yes. I was say, it's the yeah. win I see when I see one of my former players at the store with their two kids. Mm-hmm. and Or that invitation to get in the mail or, for a wedding. Or, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. or, yeah, you know, anything like that. I mean, mm-hmm. I still have kids who now that I taught 20 years, because I've been at this a little long, <laughs> I taught 20 years ago that now, like, we're friends. We're not, mm-hmm. yeah, I might have taught them, but. I they're mean, an adult. They're, they're an adult yeah. now, and. Those are the best. You get those relationships. You get to see how much impact you had on some of those kids. That's what I, I mean. That's why I we agree. do this job. I yep. agree. That's what it's about. And with that, we we're will take a break. Happy here. We will take a break. <laughs> oh, I like it. If you're watching the coaches box. So we'll be right sad. back. Time to win a cup. Fine Mexican cuisine. A family atmosphere. Any place to watch your local sport teams. Come out to La Pechangas. Check out our four locations. Arnold, Herculaneum, Crystal City, and Monterre. Come out to La Pechanga. As your local farmer's agent in Crystal City, Missouri, Caleb Nose helps customers like you identify the insurance coverage that best fits your needs. This process is straightforward and personalized to help make you smarter about insurance. Caleb has the knowledge and experience to help you better understand your coverage options, whether that's auto, home, renters, business, life insurance, and more. Give the Caleb Nose Agency a call at 636-933-6333, and he'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. That right, I'll say real quick, um, you know, I really admire what you guys do with this. I think everybody who's ever tuned into one of these, whether it's a Legion game, whether it's a high school baseball game, whether it's basketball, football, whatever it is, mm-hmm. um, I've heard nothing but tremendous feedback uh, about Livestream STL and what you guys do and the quality of production, things like that. I would really encourage anybody who's involved in athletics throughout the county, uh, or really anywhere in the metro area, uh, anybody who's interested in sponsoring activities to get on board and get involved with this. I think it's added a ton to what we do here. It's added a ton to the program. Uh, you guys are a class act. And you're, you're committed to doing things the right way. And we really appreciate that. Guys, 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 I've always wanted to ask you this since you're both pitchers. What's your favorite pitch? Is it, I'm, it's a fastball? Okay, I know, it's a curveball. No? Okay, well, what's, what's your favorite pitch? Oh, yeah. Spitball. The Main Street Sports Show. You never know what we're going to throw at you. Value. Let's talk about value right now. We here at Livestream STL believe that value is key to keeping our community at a high level. Do us a huge favor today. 
Talk to your athletic director about the value that Livestream STL brings to your school. Talk to your superintendents as well. Let them know that you want Livestream STL in your schools because we bring high levels of value back to your kids. Thanks again for watching the broadcast. You know, I, I do this for the love of the kids. I do it for the love of the coaches and the ADs because there's not enough high school coverage in the St. Louis area. Um, th there's just not. Once again, I get to keep my relationships with, you know, guys like you and, and a lot of the other great coaches and administrators and, and former athletes. And that's one of the cool things that we're going to do here, too, is, you know, I've been fortunate covering some great, you know, great coaches and great kids. But, you know, the, the caravan is... You know, we, I wasn't letting it die. And sure enough, we're here now, and, and you know, the reboot is in full effect. And we are back here for our final segment. We have Cranium Cup trivia as we open things up here this ought to be interesting here here comes is, is the we, we, le we leave it with you for one week and it's all tore yeah, up man. what's up with that that's why we can't have nice things i mean Josh. i had Jarvis, i had like 24 weeks exactly. or something and i've never had that issue yeah not in a row my friend well, not in a row. goodness <laughs> uh, hey i had it long enough for you guys pissed and moaned about me winning it all the time you well you know when you got the answers all the time now i had to take over <laughs> like alex trebek <clears throat> that's fine by the way hey, hey did any did anybody see aaron uh, Rodgers yes, host it jeopardy was great. yes did you see the final jeopardy uh, they were the final some one. Of the, the yeah when they were asking him different questions oh. okay they had, yeah, it's a couple it. good ones there yeah. a couple good it. ones did you hey, it? There you wow go. look pair of pliers well, well, i plan on taking it home again so <laughs> i just one of the one of the players asked him so did you ask them to kick it <laughs> <laughs> he just said he just looked hey they didn't get the question <laughs> about which midwesterners won the nfl title at 5 years in a row mm. he's like uh, green bay packers <laughs> <laughs> so I answered, and then whenever in this team, this team won this this basketball team won between 1959 and 1964, and the guy answered, "What is Boston Celtics?" He goes, "How'd you know that one?" <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, it was great. If you haven't seen the clip, it's it's, it's like on Sports Center. So it's it's uh, but I, I'm gonna go official on the on the bandwagon to say Levar Burton needs to be the next host. Reading Rainbow? No. Wow. Reading Rainbow. Yeah. I don't even no. know who that is. You don't, wow. What? Nope. Jordy, Star Trek? I don't watch that. Dude, wait, wait, wait. First off, I, do you I even know what is, Reading though. Rainbow is? Nope. That was past his Yeah, time. I'm sorry. He was 20 he by was that time. He was Hee Haw. <laughs> <laughs> he was so did you watch Hee Haw? Oh, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Mini <laughs> Pearl. He wants well, Roy Clark to be there. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Reading Rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Do you even know what Sesame Street is? Yes. Okay. Do you know what the Muppets are? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Man, we should have like a... <laughs> oh, my God. I got, I got great ideas all of a sudden. Oh, forget <laughs> all them. All right. All right. All it's right. trivia time. Hey, do me a favor. Take no. a little push just that way. Stay anything. in the in the picture. Don't there we go. To. Thank you. I have a face for radio. Just go ahead and turn that. that you know is my dad? Thing. Okay, go ahead. All right. Are we ready? Yep. Oh, well, I can turn this off. College up. basketball. Turn all off. That probably none of us know about. College oh, basketball. Maybe. Um. I'll probably miss the easy ones. All right. Question number one. Before Russell Westbrook was dropping triple doubles in the NBA – he was a star at UCLA. How many years did Westbrook play at UCLA? I thought you were going to stay. Stay. <laughs> a, stay one. At UCLA. B, two. C, three. D, four. Mm. E, none of the above. Now, you obviously played at UCLA. I have no idea. I'm I making a guess. Know either. Answers. And the answer is B2. No, oh, Ray. Ray, Ray. Ray is on the ship. board. Well, what happened last week? I That's all right. That. I started out 0-2 last, last week. That's week right. Too, That's, I oh, you got the first one last week, too? I did. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I have no idea. Question number two. It's hard to follow in the footsteps of a legendary coach when they retire. Who replaced Dean Smith at the University of North Carolina when he retired in 1997? A, Matt Doherty. B. Roy Williams, 
C, George Carl. D, Bill Guthridge. All right. I only got A wrote down. A, Matt Doherty. B, Roy Williams. C, George Carl. D, Bill Guthridge. Now, what's the question again? Oh. Who replaced Dean Smith at the University of North Carolina when he retired in 1997? Guthridge. I don't know if this is right or not. Answers. I don't know. Is that an A? Yeah. Oh. That's what I picked. And you are all incorrect. George Carl? Nope. It uh, was Bill Guthridge. Guthridge. That was it was either A or B or D. Mm-hmm. I know it wasn't George Carl. Wrong. George Carl was he coaching was never, the Supersonics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coach. What uh, year? Please. What year was that? Do you remember? What? Seventy. Dean retired. Nineteen ninety seven. Ninety seven. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, he Doherty? said the year. Oh, did Doherty was after Bill Guthridge. Okay. See, and I thought it was Doherty. So I thought it was one or two years, wasn't it? He only coached her three years. He actually coach of the year. Coach like Antoine Jameson. <clears throat> so Ray's still in the lead. Go move oh, next. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm. Hurry up so move I can on. try to win. All right. In the Ray 1997 got. NCAA championship. I knew Ray got all the questions. Sir. <laughs> yeah, because he got that one right, too. <laughs> he did it on purpose. In the 1997 NCAA championship, the Arizona Wildcats defeated the defending champion Kentucky Wildcats 84-79. Oh, what player was named the NCAA tournament most outstanding player for that year? A, Mike Bibby, B, Miles Simon, C, Jason Terry, D, Ron Mercer. Question again. What player was named the NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player for the year 1997? Answers. Bibby. Answers are Mike Bibby, Miles Simon, Jason Terry, or D, Ron Mercer. Holy crap. Kind of getting into this music a little bit. I'm taking a cold, total guess. I feel like I'm in the club. C, you said A, you said C, you said D, you said A. You're all incorrect. It's Miles Simon. Oh, wow. So you're saying there's a chance. And Ron Mercer played for Kentucky and yes. they didn't win. Yeah, but I didn't. But that was there was two years there. In 90, I think it was 96 when they won mm-hmm. where the guy from Kentucky did not get it. Yeah, well, you're wrong. But they didn't win. I'm going to look that up and see. Go ahead and look it up. <laughs> Tell me Miles Simon won it. So let's see. Well, that was, were we in question number four already? Question yeah. number four. Man, raising the lead with commanding one to nothing <laughs> oh, lead. God, we're terrible. Gosh. The show has reached a new low. <laughs> oh, <I'm telling> you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> wow. Question four. The highest preseason, preseason AP ranking Mizzou men's basketball oh. has ever received is fifth. Mm-mm. Nope. That's incorrect. Nope. I looked it up. I'm telling you it's incorrect. I'm telling you. All right. Okay. I thought they were ranked like preseason. Yeah, hey, I they thought they were. AP. One. We don't want AP, to, not hey, coaches poll. We don't want to do this. Okay. Want, AP. Because then sorry, if he gets it right, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. all get it yeah, right. Yeah. All right. AP. Okay. AP. Okay. It's fine. Preseason. The only okay. thing I can do right now is tie. All right. See, there's a chance. Okay. okay. You're up. Go ahead. I'm up. Go ahead. Oh, the highest ever received is fifth. Under which coach did they receive this? Mm. A. Mm. Mike Anderson. B. Frank Haith. C. Quinn Snyder. D. Norm mm. Stewart. <sighs> you getting it? You picking it, it up? You picking me. it up? Trust me, I definitely got it. I, I know what Dang it. I don't think I. I don't know this one, but I'm gonna make the That's guess. Funny. Do you get it? <laughs> Do the people at home get it? I don't know. If we I don't know. I'll just say. I, all got I, I probably got the wrong one. So. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is C, Quinn Snyder. Yeah! <laughs> and I uh, going on assignment. That means I beat the coaches. <laughs> that means that's got to be on uh, every Man. every broadcast all uh, there you long, go. Ray. Hey, I know, hey, I know who's doing a commercial. <laughs> that, right that, guy. Right that guy. Right here. That guy. Right here. That guy. He's never done a coach. I know he has. Not one. No, I have. I have. The, the, I have. The, 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 one with you. Oh, oh what's okay. up? Yeah. Well, you know. He's Sorry. doing one now. He's doing a solo. Here it is. Uh, so, <laughs> I want to thank the Academy. Oh, jeez. Hey, when you win think. it more than once, then you can start doing that. I want to thank the uh, coaches, 
here that uh, we allowed made you this, to win tonight. Allowed me to win tonight. And, well, uh, what? what year? Be what, what it year? Is. What year, Ray? So there is. What year? What year? What? What year was it? I got it. What year was? Yeah. Oh, Snyder. Snyder. What year was that? I when took a guess because he's one. only he only coached pre-season like two years, one. right? No, he coached several years. Oh, he was mm. one, two. Two thousand three, two thousand four. Mm-hmm. They finished sixteen and fourteen that yep. year. Yes, they did. Who was the stud? Who was the star player? Dream Rush. Dream nope. Rush. Nope. Not that year. Nope. 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 Number twenty three. Oh, Lenny. Number twenty three. Nope. Wow. No. Take me a second. English? Nope. 23 was Olenny. No, he's a, he's after no. him. No. Um, Paulding. Oh, oh, I forgot Ricky about Paulding. Ricky. Man. Gosh, Ray dang it. won it. I, you know how I know? Because I went to the uh, black and gold game. Really? Mm-hmm. Was, so you were going to argue about them being preseason number one? Because they were preseason number yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I went and looked this up. Okay. So I know. Sure. Maybe it was the ESPN poll. Maybe it was the coach's poll. Whatever. I mean, you were one. prepared. You had your questions yeah. ready and ready to go. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> what a freaking brown nose. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, and we're not even really about brown We got done in record time. So, we got done in record so time, boys. You're good there, Chris Miller. <laughs> uh, Miller. It was more of a poke towards you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, we got done with enough time. We got 10 minutes to do whatever. I think we got this time for last, activities. I remember that last. Uh, what was your last thing on debatable there? topic? Yeah. No, oh. the the, what the agenda. Well, the actual thing we. Oh yeah, yeah. Would about? you rather? Ooh yeah, good job. Yeah. Would you oh, rather? Here we go. We, here we go. We're stealing. Here that. we go. That well, is, uh, I wanted that's to call in topic. Not a segment on somebody else's show. I well, I hey, we said come we up with another name. I didn't even make up a segment. That's name fine. Here you go. I'll ask the question. Wow. Okay. Would you rather close and people at home can answer? We may Would get you rather write it on this? No. <laughs> Would you rather close Game Seven of the World Series or kick the field goal to win the Super Bowl? Oh, I want to close. I'm going to make a hell of a lot more money. <laughs> I want to kick the field goal. Kicking the field goal is probably safer, but you know, a lot of pressure. I though. like baseball a little bit more than football. If you would have said, "Have a Joe Carter moment." Yeah. I would have took that. Yes. I'm going to say kick the field goal. Okay. All right. right. Kick the okay. field goal. I mean, although you are going to get mo- mobbed on the mound. Yeah. You are. But yeah. you are going to get mobbed. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I'm going to take this back. <laughs> if I'm the size of a kicker right. and a bunch of guys I mean, who are on the offensive line are going right? to I would be yeah. Janikowski, yeah. baby. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> You'd be okay. I mean. Yeah. yeah. You, you've, you've seen the I'm replacements. Just kick, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm just going to kick the field goal and then take off and run like Forrest Gump all the way out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Forrest! I was running. Oh, one of the greatest movies. All right, so what did you say? You didn't. You, you asked the question, okay, you didn't well, answer it. I, I want to be the closer. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be the closer. And Not a, for the money, but just for – Oh, I was thinking about if it's me and my money, money. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> straight money. cash, homie. Straight, <laughs> straight money, cash, money. homie. Yeah. That's exactly right. Cream, cash rules everything around me. <laughs> Wu-Tang. <laughs> <laughs> dollar, dollar bills, y'all. All right, here we go. Would you rather? Uh, would you rather? I was, oh, waiting, for a a funny D- I was waiting for a DMX no. uh, reference. Would you rather have an too offense? Soon? Yeah, too soon. Nah. Would you rather have an offense that scores or a dominant de- defense? And that's in football. Oh, yeah. In football? Mm-hmm, in football. Would you rather have a – You'd be the greatest show on turf. Would you – or the 85 Bears. Or oh, the 85 Bears. Defense. Gosh. I'm well, you gonna, can't use the 85 Bears. I'm just going to say defense. Because they had, they had enough personality to sell tickets. Defense. Okay, if we're talking like the, the – What's going to win? Oh, wait, what the, is going to win? The, 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 oh, I'd want to be the Rams with Kurt Warner and the freaking offense, baby. Well, like the 2002 Ravens. They weren't exactly, like, exciting to watch. Yeah. 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 But, but they, they won. Were, that they one won. year, the Buccaneers was pretty good too. They won. They won with the Brooks Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah, he he won the he what won was the MVP. The Gannon was no no that was the yeah, Raiders. Yeah, yeah, Rich was, Gannon yeah, got yeah. annihilated. Brad Johnson was the quarterback. Brad Johnson, yeah, Brad right. Johnson. Well, and Trent yeah. and Trent Dilfer that just tells for you the right Ravens. there. You don't need Wait, to have who was the other quarterback who got repla- who, re- who Dilfer replaced in that uh, year. What year, what year was the it? Ra- the year the Ravens won the, their first Super Bowl. Um he got replaced halfway through the year because they had that drought where they couldn't score a touchdown. I don't know the useful knowledge. Wasn't Hasselback? Nope. No. He Gus, played for the Rams. Gus for Gus Tony for Banks. Tony Banks. Yeah, it was right. Tony Banks. Tony Banks, yeah. Tony Banks. Trent, Trent Dilfer. Okay. All right, last one. Would you rather take a fastball from Jordan Hicks nope. off of anywhere on the body or, and I guess after 
this is a national God, story. Now. This, this? Is a, this is a national story now. So I'm, we'll go change ahead. it. We'll change. No, the go name. ahead and do it. Do okay. it. Okay. Do it. Or don't be weak. Okay. Or be tackled by Aaron Donald <laughs> with a ten yard head start, even though he's in the news right now. Did you see that, dude? I don't think I might take the fastball. <laughs> or, get your, or get your first bunt hit. <laughs> take On a, a shift. Which yeah. <laughs> take take a uh, take a one hundred five Jordan Hicks fastball off the ribs, off the elbow, off the hand, or. Aaron Donald gets a 10-yard hit. Aaron Donald. Yeah, I'm going with Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Too. Yeah, I'm going Aaron Donald because that ball hits me in the wrong spot. I'm dead. Yeah. But yeah. So, so if Aaron McDonald hits me in the wrong spot, I can't Oh, listen, no. It's, that's <laughs> that's a lot of off. impact in uh-huh. one particular area. That's a lot of impact in a very Hi. spread out area. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very going to take out. the hit by that guy. <laughs> have you seen, this 105-mile-an-hour fastball. Have you ball. seen uh, who, was the, uh, who was the Viking defensive end? Uh, had the long hair. Was it Klein? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, just a few years ago. Just retired a few Alan. years ago. Alan, yes. Alan. Yeah. Did you see when he was on Jackass with Johnny Knoxville? Uh-oh. And he did this to Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Knoxville ran a slant, and Alan just would come in and crush him. <laughs> you might think twice. You might want to take a Jordan Hicks Well, basketball. if I had my pads on, though. He did. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. You remember Aaron, the, ten yards with Aaron McDonald, and he's fast. Hey, yeah. hey! Yeah. You remember when they used to have the segment on ESPN they on, on uh, um, uh, Sunday NFL football? Yeah. They, you got jacked up! <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> what, did, what did the audience say, Ray? Anybody? Yeah. Are they, anybody uh, even watching always, anymore? Any so viewers? here, here, a lot, of, lot of them here. So fastball, fastball. Dave Crump wants the fa- the field goal. Kevin Holly wants a field goal. He wants to celebrate like Martin Gramatica. <laughs> I, got a sto- Wait, I got a story about him. Oh, my gosh. I got to uh, tell you Kevin this. Holly was, would go with the off. offense. He flipped me off. Martin Gramatica <laughs> did? Yes. Nice. What did you do? Went What'd to the Monday do, night Tampa Bay Rams game. Was sitting in the I was third there too. row. I was at that and game. And he came off after missing a field goal. And I was in the third row. And I'd been there <laughs> Pretty early. It's been there a while. <laughs> Man had a couple water. He was pre-gaming before. It was I had a lot of water, right? and we a were, lot of water, and I was <laughs> going grammatic. I just kept messing with him the whole time, and he <laughs> he came off, and he went put me off. Nice. Dave wow. Crump says the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. Oh, I said that last year. Bold predictions. <laughs> Who won? Um, was that offense or defense that won that one? Hmm. <laughs> Dave Crump said offense too. Um, Kevin Holly fastball. That was an easy one. Dave Crump says take the take the hit from Donald. Kevin Holly White Sox pitcher throws a no hitter tonight. Yep. He had a he Carlos had a perfect Rodon. game. Who he was a, it? Carlos uh, Rodon. Yeah. Rondon. 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 R- I can't spell Rodon. Can't pronounce anything. It's, it's you Rodon. can't talk today. Rodon. <laughs> He's from your state. How come so, you didn't get it? <laughs> he had a perfect game in the ninth, and I guess he gave up a a, uh, a walk more than likely. Mike, we've seen this on that a few times. Mike, point Lucina. I had thought of Mike Lucina in a long mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Right? Pitch. Yikes! Oh, out there. Oh, well, I think he's trying to tell us. Trying something. to tell something. He's got, he's got places to go. Things to do. I so guess. we got to pick. Hollow hands. hands. Hey, are we going to pick a winner? Oh, I got to pick a winner. We got to pick a winner, Ray. Yeah, yeah Ray's Don't over here. Don't forget, like we got to pick a winner. Babe, yes. you got to start oh, putting man. in for these. Get us some gift cards. <laughs> you got to flip that around. Free dinner. <laughs> All right. Only got get four tonight. Ready. Oh, yeah. Phone's dead. You get ready. On your mark. Gift card. Get set. Gift card, case, and bucks. And go. Who is it? I'm it's spinning, dude. It's too late. Kevin Halley. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Halley. Halley. <laughs> <laughs> and really, Kevin, if you Kevin would if you would have heard what Chris said about soccer earlier uh, in the night, uh, you would say no. He hears man. me talk about soccer all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, soccer's garbage. Well, that's not what Chris said earlier. Maybe <laughs> a little bit better than was garbage. Worse than garbage? <laughs> Who are you now, Tattletale? I want, I want, you must have got your ass kicked on the playground a couple <laughs> times. Wow. wow. Hey. Man. I just speak Ow. the truth, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Speak I, the haven't, truth. I haven't used this at I, all. I call it like a seal. all. <laughs> wow. Uh, Fuck Mr. Comedian tonight. <laughs> Boy, we're going to get jokes. Hey. We're gonna have jokes. <laughs> Donna Blair's gonna be on there telling us to leave her boy alone. That's right. <laughs> she will be. Kevin Holly says I heard it. He won't. He won't have Wi-Fi tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> yes. There it is. Uh, 
No Wi-Fi for you. It's all right. He's the Wi-Fi Nazi. It's okay. <laughs> nope. uh, He's the hot Friday spot. tomorrow? No. Oh. Never mind. You are here for We'll that. go to Jim and, oh. and tell Jim that reason why you didn't have that. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Let's see what tell. he says. All right. Let's go tell. Let's go through. Let's go through right before we Mom. leave here, real quick, because we got two minutes. Mom, going Lilo. through it here. Lilo. Tomorrow we will be over at St. Pius the Tenth, St. Vincent at St. Pius. Four fifteen is our Blues. pregame. Friday night blitz. Hey, did you guys win the cup? Over at Bayless, Duberg comes to town. That will be a six forty-five start. How'd Ray win the cup? <laughs> Is that football? It is. I got foot Friday. I got Friday. Night if you would get here on time, yeah. you might know. Monday, <laughs> Monday, pending a phone Sorry, call. Man. Monday, fo- <laughs> fo- pending a pending a phone pending call. A, <laughs> pending a pay call. ball. Pending a phone call. Blah, blah, blah. You sound like me, Ray. <laughs> oh, oh my lord! Ray's they are letting you do this, Ray. Ray's They're flustered rude. right now. What are you drinking <laughs> out of the cup, Ray? <laughs> Words. <laughs> Take okay. a drink, babe. Monday. Take a drink, Monday. Babe. Here it is. Monday. 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 Here we go. Oak Ridge at Oak Bridge. <laughs> not Oak Bridge. Oak Ridge at Grandview. Girls softball, our only softball uh, game of the fall or the spring, I should say. <laughs> well, it's some kind of a sport. I it is some kind of sport. There. April 19th, 4.15. i got to give a call to uh, Don Jeffries to make sure that we can get internet over there. If not, we're going to be doing that in tape delay. Tuesday, the 20th, Herculaneum at Jefferson, 415. Wednesday. Uh, Jefferson, what day is that? Huh? What day is that? That's Tuesday. Get a baseball April schedule. April 20th, 415. I just asked my kid when he plays. Oh, Wednesday. 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 Who Here it is. Bush. Baseball at Bush Stadium. April 21st, 6 o'clock is the Cardinals. first pitch. It I'll will be, be at Bush Cardinals. Stadium. Um, no, it's I'm it's doing play-by-play. Play. It's St. Pius call. Lancers at do play the I'll Roxanna the right. Shells. I've got Are they Roxanne the Stings, aren't they? It'd be a fun night. They're the Shells. They're the police. <laughs> They're the <laughs> Shells. <laughs> six, <laughs> 6 o'clock, 545 on it. Roxanne. And then we will have – oh, I forgot. I keep doing this. Here it is. Call the red light. The Sky – or the Sports Caravan with Jim Powers. And then Perryville at Windsor. Next Friday, four fifteen. Sell your body to the night. There you go. And uh, just in case uh, anybody <laughs> forgot, I won the cup. Thank uh, you. I you appreciate it. Cup. Hey, when are we doing our fun? show, Ray? When are we gotta do our show. Pimped everybody gotta else. Fig- I gotta figure here. something out. <laughs> we might have to do it next Saturday or something. I don't oh, know. We'll see how things go. Hey, hey, there you go. <laughs> Roll, <laughs> Coach's box. We'll say so long. Have a great day. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs>